I've got us listed as unstable. Poor network connectivity. We are literally plugged into the router. Uh, give me one second to make sure that one of the cats didn't unplug us. Um, I am going to uh, just check our Ethernet connection. All I saw is that I got a notification in my headset. OBS said they're disconnecting. And I was like, oh, no. The whole ship's going down. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what we got here. Because we are plugged in. Hey, cats. Did you F with my cord down there? All right, I'm going to come down and see. So like the true adult that I am, I decided to get on all uh, my hands and knees and yell through the grate to my fur children downstairs. And I'm sure that both of them were working. Bail out the water. Ah! <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. And so like this is the issue that I'm having is it's the connectivity between OBS and Twitch. And when Twitch has this issue, like I, uh, it's hard. How do they expect us to be able to, uh, cause it's not me. It's not me. My internet's fine. Um, I feel like Twitch does this to streamers whom are trying toward partner because I remember pocket had the same issue, the same issue. And it's just, uh, talk about a real pain in the bum. Check the back of the laptop power plug. I'm plugged in. I got everything plugged in. I literally, uh, we're good to go. I'm rocking power. Everybody's plugged in. I'm barely running anything up here because this is turned off when we're not using it. <sighs> no, we're good. Literally everything, everything plugs in. Let's see if I can pull it a little bit because it's everything's plugged in to here. That way I can see if and feel if anything's getting hot. Um, like I like I just like knowing I like, you know, like I just I like being in the know. Uh, I remember when I had my Wi-Fi router cable was in my PS4 and it was not able to connect to Wi-Fi. Oh, so we're we're hooked up. We're hooked. You know what? I'm going to run downstairs. I'm going to take you guys with me in the headset. So you guys are going to hear the bling bling. Maybe if I get disconnected. Let's see here. Let's walk down. I'm going to leave my cereal bowl right there because I'm walking down steps to check the router. See, I told you guys I live in a wizard tower. Stitches, what are you doing? No, we've got a straight disco ball. Everything's lit up white on the router. We're good to go. It is straight giving me disco ball vibes, but hey. What do you mean? You want to come upstairs? Yeah? Okay. You can come upstairs for a half hour. And then when I take my break, you got to go back down, okay? Because I'm not playing with the uh, needles right now. So you're good to be up here. Yeah. What? What's wrong? I just have to uh, move some things or they will uh, become a victim of the cat. I've learned my lesson once. I'm closing the pencil sharpen. <laughs> Well, you were taking a nap. Did we bug you? Hmm? I'll put the needle down because he likes to paw at it. Oh. Oh. I don't have his treats up here, but you know what we can do? Do you want one of your special toys that hasn't been slobbered on by the cat? The kitten? Huh? You want one of your special toys? You love... Look at it. He hasn't touched it. He hasn't touched your ice cream cone. Yeah, yeah, these are yours. I keep them in a basket for you up here. Un undrooled on by kitten. Yeah. Tell her 
everybody your stitch. And these are your toys. This is your workspace. Don't show people your butt. <laughs> Welcome back. Sorry about the connectivity issues. I'm gonna just thoroughly blame that one on Twitch. Thoroughly blame that one on Twitch. And you know what? Let's supersize the cat. Yeah, look at all your toys. He goes, they only smell like me. They don't have drool on them. They're only yours. Yeah. Oh, don't drop the hamburger. <laughs> He's like, I am going to scent mark this hamburger. He's my favorite. <laughs> uh, if... We ha if we have friends who have not met Space Admiral Stitch, here's Stitches. Don't get into trouble, okay? What do you mean? You're like, trouble's my middle name. I'm gonna work on ruffles, okay? You can explore, that's fine. Just know that wherever you uh, weasel your little body, or I'm sorry, wherever you weasel your big body into, you gotta remember that you gotta weasel yourself out. What? I think he's like, hey, you brought me up here, but you didn't think to bring my uh, my toys or treats. St. Clair, hello. St. <laughs> Clair, my bad. So I'm just kind of working the ruffles, trying to make sure that there's not too many of them in one spot. Um, and I'm going to do this a couple times over. You can kind of feel when they are too dense in one location. I just want that natural non-cluster F. Then I gotta find the center of all of this. Riger. Saint is quite Oh, alright. Thank you so much, Saint. I will uh do my best to remember to use the nickname. What are you doing? Leave my poison IV eyebrows alone. They might stick to you. They're still a little tacky. Um, oh, in case anybody was wondering about, hey, Dis, how did it go removing those eyebrows from your eyebrows with a bunch of nail polish, or nail, uh, or not nail glue, <laughs> wouldn't, they wouldn't have come off, um, eyelash glue? Not well, not well, Chet. I can honestly say I wouldn't recommend using a copious amounts of eyelash glue like I did to glue down eyebrows upon your eyebrows. Because then what I found myself doing is trying to pull out, so you know, you may not know. So let me, let me, uh, you, you may not know the challenge. But after, sometimes, you'll have residual eyelash glue around the crust of your eyelashes, if you will. We're just gonna, we're just gonna say it how it is. Well, I had that still in my eyebrows. And what happens is when you try to peel them off, so then it became my eyebrows were starting to form their own little, like, Two space mohawk, um, up across my face. I lost the cat. Where did he go? Oh, he's using the good boy. And so, as I'm cleaning them out, the glue is collecting in the center. It was horrible. It was horrible. And then I had to comb out my eyebrows, and like I combed them out straight, like. When Kay Horbs decided to get her eyebrows laminated that one time, and it was really scary to look at because, like, the lady had left the laminate in there too long. But, like, they, everybody was combing their I don't know why I'm combing my eyebrows up right now. Um, <laughs> in remembrance of Friday. It was, uh, it was, uh, they did look good. They did look good. And in the photos, they look like they're CGI'd on. It, they don't look like, hey, did you just paint hot glue in the morning? Yes. Yes, I did paint hot glue in the morning. Uh, play with your toys for everybody to see. You don't play anymore. Because Puck ruins everything. We're, we're spo I'm supposed to be working. I know you don't care. You're just so happy to be up here hanging out with me and not have the little one. He's just rolling in his toys. I, uh, so since we got Puck, 
because I know Puck would have no chill up here and would try to eat everything, Puck has not been upstairs into the wizard tower. This is just Stitch's place. Uh, some of the last toys that he ended, we ended up getting him for our pizza party for when we did our interview with Angry Unicorn. Um, I don't know. I just saw a really cute ice cream cone and thought he would like it. And then, like, we're always eating fast food, so I got him some fast food. I've left these ones only up here. Puck drools on everything and destroys everything. Like, his little sushis. His his shrimp tempura is not withstanding the, uh, the kitten. Because he's happy and playful. Right? He's just like, oh, I love you all. Pet my face. <laughs> my bone widow just finished and my zaka finished Riger you're on a roll my dude you're on a roll mm. you know though by doing this I'm not able to work on my project <laughs> We were working on ruffles. How does one acquire a hundred forma? Uh, the easiest way, Sebastian, is to have ground out Plague Star, because Nakak is literally just giving away forma if you uh, had extra means. Other than that, you gotta build them. You can buy them in the marketplace too in sets of three. But I know that we're the re only reason I'm sitting on a buttload of Forma is because we grounded out with Plague Star with all of you. I mean, not that I needed it, but. Oh. I don't want you to. Do you want. Oh. You're a big boy. I just rolled you over and you're a big boy. <laughs> um, I'm sorry we were going to get work done and then I brought the cat up in stairs and he's acting like he's never seen me before in his life so many for that I don't uh, have enough slots anymore even though I already bought so many more slots oh no oh you just yeeted your hamburger off the table this is too adorable He's so cute. I'm just getting the hamburger that you threw. We're not in the cafeteria. You don't throw food. Don't throw food. In, don't throw food. Hopefully we'll have another Scarlet Sphere event. In t uh. You don't want an Orphix Venom? I would take a Scarlet Sphere event. I would take a Scarlet Sphere event summer thing i had a blast i that was the only event the only reason there's forma in my uh that gun glaive what is it the revolt or the you know what i'm talking about but that stupid gun glaive that's the only reason there's forma into it because it was great working with mesa prime and that i see stitch is in full love me what he is he's in full yes there's no kitten um, did you throw the unicorn, though? Put that back downstairs. You have work to do. But look at him just playing with his toys. Sanemius. Oh, look at him just licking his crotch. You know, when you've played with your toys enough and you just need to self-clean? When your toy is attacked, now that toy is wet for your face. You put slobber all over that toy. <laughs> as husband goes stairs, slightly judgy at this fusion wall. He caught it before it could fall off! Come on, look at this. I 
I could stare at him playing. Jubilee, hello, hello. Stitches is upstairs in the wizard tower enjoying some toys with you. <laughs> Cat Mondays, isn't he just... I know that if I pull this down and bring my ruffles back out, he's going to want to lay on top of them. Cat, Cat is, is cute. cute. Moxie is cuter. Okay, while he's here then, I, I will duo. I will pull some of the pieces that we need to for Moxie out. And we can just hope that we don't scare him in the process. Are you are you going to help? So you guys are wondering, here's here's that top skirt that some of you were talking about. I've already got this done. It's because of the dance, isn't it, Chiboli? Oh, Stitch, not in front of everyone! <laughs> Chiboli, thank you so much for those pities. I'm sorry that that triggered a crotch clean. Cringe, right? You don't have a cardboard box to hold your kitties. No, he's just, he's just hanging out in here. He's like, hey. All right. I've got a bunch of green screen fabric. You know what? If I ever see, or not see two each two, but uh, when we all meet up to hang out, I'm gonna see if one of you guys needs some green screen fabric. I got a bunch. So this tub here in the corner is full of Borderlands garb. Do I say garb? Um, and I'm gonna start pulling pieces out. So we have my hat for Moxie. I'm just gonna put that up there. That way it's out of sight, out of mind. Here is B2's gun. I'm gonna leave B2's gun, I think, here. I'm not gonna take it with me. Uh, and that's, here is B3's wig. Yeah, in a box. I need to start a pile somewhere. Oh, put it away. Don't just put it on the floor. Have you guys ever thought like, hey, I'm just going to set this on the floor. That's a good enough resting place for it. And literally, it only just goes in the drawer right next to where you are going to uh, pathetically set it. This is... Okay, so we can put that... That can go on top. Are you done? You're done up here? We've got her B2 wig. I'm going to just get put some things up here to get them out of the way for now. Um, this is, so here's one of the sun hats that I wear when I, uh, wear my swim moxie. I want to, so for next, I want to make this feathers felt. And I've got the felt and the means to do it, because here's how her B3, and look it, as we get better as craftsmen, just check that out. Like, it's dope. Um, her tip jar, we can leave. The megaphone. Yomakon's my birthday weekend, so I'm gonna bring the megaphone to annoy a couple people because, like, what up? <laughs> um, what is? These are my shoes. Have you guys seen my shoes, my kicks? These are for the swim moxie as well. So Yoreli would be getting her own Warframe shoes because here are my my Borderland kicks. And I wear, these have a small wedge. Sorry, I couldn't think of what it was called. A small wedge in them. Right? Aren't they great? I've been dying to do a wedge sneaker uh, that is Warframe related. And again, I'm still trying to figure out what the Warframe community wants to watch. And would watching a girl customize some kicks in their fandom be cool? Did you want to go downstairs? I'm sorry, I didn't know. You can jump up there, go for it. I think he wants to go downstairs. We're gonna, I'm going to see how long I can just nonchalantly keep him up here while we pull things. Swimsuit bottoms. Now, oh, this is not attractive, so we're just going to throw all that on the ground. <laughs> um, here is... Pant, that's one for the leg, so there should be an arm in here. Yep. Um, we're just going to keep this at a distance. The panties I made. <laughs> um, 
stockings. I think those are just us. So one is a leg, one is an arm, and then I keep tights on. And I only have one sock? Um, oh, these are my... Why do I only have one sock? And two sets of fishnets. Stitches, what are you doing? Do you know where my sock goes? I'm just gonna put it in with the shoes. I feel like that works, right? Socks go with shoes. Sneakers for sneaking. Warframe material indeed. Okay, okay. I mean, they would obviously... Uh, I was thinking that the first pair of sneakers would be Kuva Queen oriented just because of some, like, black and red. You can see them just moving about back there. Is my, my color. Um, here is... So I have a like band, I wrap a, a little waist wrap around. What I'm also working on, and you guys will see me work on uh, next year, is this. So to go, I haven't shown anybody this, so here you guys go. We are gonna be uh, her uh, underdome. I am doing a parasol that goes with it. Um, again, same fabric and colors. And full, uh, it's liquid latex mixed with fabric medium. So yeah. No bad luck, right? No bad luck. Just, you never know when you open something up. All right, so this is one of my brassieres. You guys don't need to see that. We'll just, actually, we're going to tuck that right there. I'm going to need it. Um, here's the loot crate. Unfortunately, I'm not going to open up the loot crate. There's the sock! <laughs> Two socks. I'll put them with the shoes. Here is my dress. You guys, you know what? I'm sorry. You guys get the weird dances and everything. Um, however, I fold it in the front so that I'm not bending her little leafy leaves. The same way that I made those panels for our pod, here are the exact same mimic thing. These are the panels, and they're embroidered so that I know left, center, and right stitches. Why are you on top of the mermaid tail? That's too big of a fish for you. We can't fry that fish. Get off that. Um, oh, I gotta touch these up. These have, I kicked them around a bit. Here are my boot covers. Oh, okay. My belt here, this actually needs some uh, adjusting. So we're gonna leave that. I'm just gonna throw that off to the side as is. Uh, what else do we have down here? That is a tulle poofy skirt. Oh, hey, this is the top that I'm gonna need for uh, for Thursday for you guys. I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you the top. It's a special top. Um, and what else? I'm just pulling out the pieces that we're gonna need from Mad Moxie. I am going to pull out the extras too. Where, oh, where are her bracelets and belts and the necklaces? Okay, so here is what I was looking for. Here is her necklace. You guys will want to see this up close. I'll actually wear this uh, Thursday then. So here's her necklace. It is literally a choker collar. I sleeved cord. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that was the biggest pain in the bum to sleeve the cord. I was going out of my mind. I was going crazy. A little dowel so that everything's weighted. I need a giant drink, right? 
But I like the weird dance. <laughs> it's the hey, look at this dance. <laughs> Starda. Would you do Merlin from Seven Deadly Sins? Um, no, because she's not a villain or an NPC. Uh, I really, like, I would think... Like, for example, I haven't really thought of a costume to wear, a cosplay to make that I feel... Oh, hey, this is my sunglasses for when I go uh, in swimsuit mode. Um, there is the heavy thing. The big old chain. Um, I haven't found or thought of any characters from Seven, Seven Deadly Sins that I would be like, Oh, you know what? I should cosplay as that. That would be really cool. There just hasn't been any of the characters that have been... Ooh. Uh, at one point I was like, yeah, I guess I could do a Dark Elena if I wanted to, but like, eh, Sinemius, would you go as Bon? And then at that point, if we're putting that much work into it, are there other characters, you know, like, I think Sinemius would be a really good Trigon before he would be a Bon. So like, if I was going to put that much into working with like fake leather, I'd want it to be for a Trigon cosplay for him. Um, I also think it'd be a really good, uh, Goblin Slayer. And if that's the case, then I'm going to be the witch that's on Opium. <laughs> so it's just... <laughs> uh, it's, it just kind of comes down to which characters I find a fascination or an interest in and then want to spend three months crafting. I think I would be more open to doing a fairy tale villain. Um, ergo Kyoka. She was the one that had the like bird feet... Claptrap cosplay. Uh, so speaking of Claptrap, I really want to fabricate a, um, oh, I lost the cat. I really want to fabricate a, where'd you, oh, there you are. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If I go as Vash the Stampede, are you going as one of the insurance adjusters? <laughs> Always collecting. Always collecting. Oh, uh, that's too funny. That's too funny. Maybe. Oh, too funny, too funny. That was a good hoot. All right, so I pulled out all the moxie pieces haphazardly. Do I have a, do I have like a, do I have, do I have a bag in which I could kind of strategically put them in? Of course I do. Um, and it might actually very well be the bag that we travel with on Saturday. So let's start putting some of the pieces in here. I'm gonna put some of the heavier ones down first um, that don't need any adjusting. I will be wearing the wig on Thursday with you guys. So I'm gonna put the wig with the top that I have over here. I guess I'll be wearing the, the, um, oh, what is that called? The hat, too, I guess I could wear. I need to make sure I pulled a headband for that. These are good to go. So the only thing with this cosplay that I don't do... It's one, apparently, understand what this is. A receipt. No clue what this means. Throw it away. Oh. So for right now, just to get all of you out of the way, and I'm gonna block so that nobody can see the shenanigans that I'm gonna, I'm just gonna throw all of this in the bag too then. Stockings and everything. And then the uh, extra stockings we'll put out there. Oh, I just dropped you. Sorry, 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 sorry. I dyed the maroon and teal fabric. Um, the maroon fabric is actually the exact same as the red originally. Underneath all of this is the fabric and stuff that we need to make our mask yet. I need to embroider the borderland symbol. That's got some essentials to tame the day. Okay, yep, yeah, we'll do that. Then we'll just throw Moxie on top. I think we've pulled everything. I think we've legit pulled everything for her um, I need to get my belt clip um, 
where I keep my cell phone. I didn't mean to drop you, little little guy there. Okay. And then uh, for shoes. And speaking of shoes, that would be something I would forget. So let's, oh, these aren't that. Okay, so let's find them. <laughs> you guys are not, so, I tell you guys that I am short. Five foot two on a good day. I don't think you uh, fully understand are you just you're just gonna chill back there? I'm gonna I'm gonna put your toys away then. I'm missing one. What am I I'm missing a snow cone? Where'd you put your candy cone? Hmm? Cause they obviously don't want them just kind of thrown around like you have been. Where'd you put your candy cone? Oh. Okay. You can stay there, that's fine. We'll just put this bag there. Okay. Moxie's pulled. The good, bad, and the indifferent. Here are my Moxie shoes. <laughs> These are what I wear underneath my boot covers. Ooh, my hair got a little tousled after that. The battle is ready. Okay, hold on. I missed some fun things. Clap, trap, crossy. I go as Vash Uh You got all my attention from Goblin... Right? I, but wouldn't... Because Goblin Slayer was real big. I think Sunim used to make a really good, like, body structure-wise. Great Goblin Slayer. Um, especially since there's a helmet, too. Like, there's that allure mystery, and they wouldn't have to worry about, like, what does their face look like, you know, do I have to smile for photos? I know that's one of the biggest things he worries about. Like, if somebody takes a photo of me, like, well, what am I going to look like? Uh, ha mask on! No one even, doesn't even matter. You can be making a goofy face or staring off into the distance at somebody else's boobs or butt. Um, my favorite fairy tale character is definitely Urza Scarlet. Yeah, but everybody does Urza. What's a good villain? That Kyoka, because she has, like, different stages of transformation. As for villain, oh, yeah, Espada number three... For sure. For sure. Tear Honey Bell from Bleach. A spot, yes. She is, I have, I've already got the top mocked up for her. It's just a matter of Tear Honey Bell's wig is expensive. Same thing with, uh, I found out that to do Toru's wig from uh, Miss Kobayashi, it's going to be 60 some dollars to get to make that wig. And I'm just like, ugh. That's like the lowest that I could find. And I'm like, Ugh. Have you done a mother cosplay? No, we did a daughter um, as well as Valaglarios. Bobcat. Bobcat, man. Let me see some hearts. Oh, yeah, my alarm's going off, Stitch. Stitch is like, hold on, I hear sound. I hear something. It's a good one. Yeah, it. it Sebastian did have a, uh, a good... Everybody likes a spot of number three. Oh, I know you're a bitty dancy dancy. <laughs> wow, boots prime! <laughs> Those are the same boots that I wore for Garuda. I kid you not. The same boots I wore for Garuda. I was I was tiny. Made for stomping, walking, uh, and dancing up escalators, too, I found out. They work really good for, like, that placement. They're very lightweight. I don't know how. Urza's mother, Irene, is a villain. Oh. Well. How much do I have to donate to help with tear? <laughs> well, Sebastian, I, uh, so what I thought is, uh, for my cosplays... Obviously, Moxie is almost already done, so we're going to negate her. But I would like to find some way to uh, add you guys to my cosplays, whether it's, you know, embroidering your usernames or your full names into pieces of them. Um, yeah, especially for Magda, 
Because ideally, she might take a full year. Uh, ideally for TwitchCon. I know I might be a little ahead of the game hoping that I could get her done for 2022. She might be more of a 2023. Let's just be realistic. Um, but yeah. All right. On that note, let's let's head over to uh, a Stream Raiders battle. Stitches is getting impatient and wants to go downstairs. And I need to use uh, the little girl's room as well as do some stretching and feed the little kitten because he has not had breakfast yet. And we are well into lunch. So let's uh, let's do this. We have... I just was trying to help. I was just trying to help while you were doing enough Anya with the scroll scrolling stock ticker and people's usernames. Well, see, I thought it would be fun to do a uh, a Utico and then just be a spoiler alert and roll up my chest really fast in front of everybody on uh, on stage. I'm just kidding. That would be a dick move, but it would be funny, but a dick move. <laughs> Uh, stop it, Stitches. Come on, I'm trying to use the remote here. I, I see you, I see you. And we're gonna drop Killing Tower over here. No matter where I'm at, you just wanna be in front of the way that I'm gonna look toward the monitor. How rude. Some cats. Some cats. Ryger, thank you, uh, Dracora, for all of those beverage samples. But here's the thing, you know that when you make me drink, that water is not what's going to be alleviated in my, my you know, little break here. So like, then I'm just going to have to take another break soon because like once you, uh, so just want to let you guys know what you're doing to yourselves. Let's open up this chest. Victory was ours. 15 gold going to widescreen John for 13 kills and 5 assists. And then uh, Bawazi, as well as Fudge, enjoy your squirrels. I know, I know. How are, how do you deal? How do you deal? How do you just give me your bum to hug? Just let me hug the butt. Oh man, how are you so cute all the time? Let's put down a monk right here. We lay down a unit, Stitches. I'm gonna go back to my army and I can specialize this damn monk. Let's do it. Do we want a grand monk? Hmm? He looked like he was gonna bat me there for a second. A combat support unit that heals nearby allies over a larger area? Do we want a mighty monk, a combat support unit that heals nearby allies uh, while fighting and dealing 50% extra damage to armored units? Uh, a combat support unit that heals nearby allies while fighting and heals nearby allies 50 HP on death. Oh, well, I'm going to go with this one. On death, you get 50 HP. That's like enough to throw a second jab out there. I don't want to upgrade them, but that's three. We need two more. All right. I should have. Okay. Next, I'm going to drop in paladins. That's exciting. Okay. So two more here. And then uh, win three battles. Bless you. Cosplay. From Oh My Goddess. That sounds so familiar. Hold on. N hold on. Are you... Oh. I don't know this one. I don't know this one. Oh My Goddess. Hmm. 
I haven't seen this manga. Or anime. Interesting. No, Blind's Bell to Earth. Is this... Kind-hearted for a goddess. She's easily sense of people's emotions and tears. I don't think... I would need, like, the one that smites people, curses them, and, and wishes ill upon them behind their backs. No, I'm just kidding. But, but that's kind of the... <laughs> She seems too sweet-hearted, Thomas. And hello, hello. I just rewatched the entire series this weekend. It was so cute. Oh, okay. So worth the watch. I don't know if I could do the. The character just seems too cute. Booty cleansing has commenced. <laughs> Stitches, are you just cleaning yourself? What about Asuka from Neon? Uh, she's a grump. Um. You guys are picking, like, mainstream. I'm thinking... Don't bat at me just because I'm not petting you. I'm thinking. Do you want to go downstairs? All right, we're going to take a quick uh, five-minute break. I'm going to put stitches downstairs. And uh, we're going to come back. We're going to sew the ruffles pin them onto the skirt. See, he's like, hold on, I can help with that. You can't help with that. What about Fury from Darkness? I... Mm. But I want, like, a straight villain. I want, like, a wicked, badass villain of villains. Kona from Naruto? Okay, so Naruto is one of the only anime where I am thinking of playing a good guy for. But I think that instead of making the Naruto cosplay, I really want... Well, if we visit the same convention in August, we'll make an, a Naruto cosplay. But I think my, I think uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid trumps the Naruto cosplay I wanted to do. Oh, Bawazi, is she? Okay, all right, let's copy this then. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. I had a friend cosplay as her. Yeah, all that armor. All that hair. That is a good one, though. And that whip. I could choose my hair because isn't there like three different versions of her? I could go purple, purplish, a fuchsia, a blue, and very cool. Yeah, there's the blue version. Oh, she's got black hair too. Well, that was a pleasant deep dive. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? We don't do that. All right, Stitch has got to go downstairs. He's starting to get like, hey, I'm mischievous. I will be right back, and I will pick up right where I left off with the uh, the chat here. But uh, Altair from Recreators? Yes, that hat. That hat. Um, however, here's my here's my, here's my my conundrum with, uh, with here, or with her. Wouldn't I just make an even better Tanya the Evil? Just saying. So, like, yes, I've thought of her because that hat is epic. Um, but then, like, immediately after watching that, I was like, oh, she kind of reminds me of Tanya the Evil. Okay, I will be right back. I gotta take a break. <laughs> Emmy Chan, that was a great recommendation. Really liked that show, too. All right. All right, I will be right back. I'll be back. I'll be back in, like, Stitch, don't go there. Yeah, I gotta go. Stitches, no, 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 no.
All right, so I gave Stitches the treats that you guys wished for uh, him to have, and I fed, fed the little one. Oh. And then Stitches proceeded to try to eat the remainder of his food. So we're back. <laughs> we're back. Oh, my hair is not back. What the heck happened to my hair? What is going on? if when is Tanya I mean and then like the whole like front packs like you can have a cooler I could have snacks in there at a convention I don't typically uh, remember a lot of female characters my favorite are all male number one is Haydn and after that is Kenpachi Zaraki so basically all the absolutely strong crazy and dumb characters <laughs> Trina Una stand from Spice Girls I'm not big enough to go as Kenny and just I I could call people Momo, or Momonga, or whatever, no, Momonga is from Overlord. Momo, Momo, Momo. Little pink-haired lieutenant, just demanding piggyback rides all the time. Kenny from South Park. Oh no, you killed Kenny! Oh no. Uh, we'll braid the hair, get it out of the way. Oh yeah, tamed it a bit, if you will. Then just try to make sure that the uh, ear cups hit with my glasses correctly. That would be hilarious, though. Uh, I think that Trish from Devil May Cry is a villain. Now I, I have been thinking that it would be when uh. That live action or like the yeah no I never watched this one I didn't watch this one mm -mm. it looked too weird <laughs> Yachiru but what does she call remember she just she just adds another one of uh, names to uh, to the guys on her squad she calls the same guys the same thing <laughs> Oh, the Devil May Cry game. Ah, okay. I was like, because it immediately shows me the live action, and I'm like, yeah. I, um. But, okay. Okay. What I am going to do right now, is I am going to take... And if that is the case, if this is, I need to bring, oh no, I need to bring it out to that point. Okay. Oh no, we're good. I got it. All right. It's there. So I'm going to find the center of this. As best as possible without any twists or turns and we are going to pin it down, and of course, it's got one giant ass twist. Good freaking bejesus. <clears throat> so I'm trying to find the center of my rufos, and then I am going to place them down. When I say place them down, I'm going to tack them down and then sew them down. If this is the center. I am going to, I, for now, let's just use clips. I've marked the center on the actual fabric, so I'm just kind of lining it up with that. Rio Forest, Ichigo, Carrot Top. Uh, 
no, she when she's talking to her her own squad members, two of them I think have the same exact name, and she calls one of them this that name, and she calls the other one that same exact name, but doubles it. She uses it throughout the whole entire, like ten seasons, because Bleach is one of those ones that we watched. We watched. Uh, we watched all of the show, the OVAs. The movies. So I am going to use monster clips and I am going to clip my ruffles down to this. And this is actually the inside. I'm just gonna make sure that some of them that are a little bit more crunched out, because I saw that there's this one here that need a little bit more love. So what, do we have a bunch of ruffles at the end here? Yeah, so let's move some of them down to this section here. Because ideally I would want more ruffles toward the butt area and the less ruffles are the ruffles to dissipate as they came up toward the sides. by looking at this, I do feel like there are more ruffles on one side than there are the other, so we're going to just unpin them and uh, move some ruffles over a bit. Again, then I would need to find the center. When I do this, I'm carefully trying not to move any of the ruffles, but just lightly twist it. And if I... We'll just do this the easy way. I'll clip the ends here. See, there seems like there's a bunch on this side here take an aerial gathering view at this. I need you all to uh, spread out in a nice uniform fashion. Please and a thank you. And if I come over here, yeah, so like we've got some gathering and then there's some some blank spaces where it's didn't quite gather all the way. That's fine. We're just gonna So what am I doing? I am trying to evenly splice out. I feel like I'm just playing with lettuce. <laughs> just playing with lettuce leaves. I don't want one area because if the if it gets too like ruffle congested in one area, the fabric will want to kind of curve more so arc more so than it already does. Uh, so I'm just trying to tame it as carefully as possible. I would hate to snap my thread at this point. So just shifting things around, down and around. And again, as I go to sew this all down, it's going to move too. So like, what, what am I really doing here? No one, I don't understand. No, 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 no. Evil Ruka from the movie? Yeah, Sneemish, you've been for Evil Ruka for years. I don't think I need another scythe. It goes down to, that goes down to some of the really cool, where am I going to store it when we're all done? <laughs> I also really like, uh, yeah, yeah. That would be another really good like swimsuit one. Because her design is pretty simple. You just need, like, a skull helmet. But at that point, then, do I just do a spot of number three? And do I want... I want this that way when it folds out. Yes. And if I leave that, then... <laughs> Alright, let's uh, 
start clipping this down again. I'm just clipping it around the edge. I've kind of been leaving maybe like an eighth of an inch of a gap as we go, or like from the, the end. bunch of these. <clears throat> At this point, I feel like I can unclip it. How about Esda? From Akemek, oh, as death, yeah. She does have a nice hat, too. And an itty bitty skirt. <laughs> and an itty bitty skirt. So just pinning it, that way the ruffles are pointing toward the inside. I will be straight stitching these down, not with my ruffle presser foot, if I can remember to uh, take it out. So far, I guess I should say so far so good. We don't know until uh, it comes down to sewing this how she's gonna really look. But I'll just keep clipping it in the meantime. <clears throat> Again, I'll be using a five eighths in inch seam allowance, so just over half an inch. Oh along that one. Come back to me. How about the absolutely crazy girl from Ake... Ake Mega Kill? Forgot her. I think that's, uh... The Ez death that Bawazi was talking about. You're talking about the one with the really long, like, light blue hair? The white outfit? Off her rocker, yeah. See, now you guys are, are are climbing into my wheelhouse with uh, characters that I would. I need to bring back out my. I completely forgot Cinemius, and as did you, because you would have recommended it. I'm sure. I forgot that we have a persona. Najima. I forgot that we have that dress. Oops. Pinning the end. Shato Sainajima. Or Say. <clears throat> Need Say's back art. And a pet Doby. Alright, so we do have and clipped all into one side, you can see here. I'm going to clip her into the other. But now that I know where she ends, on this side, I want to do the same over here. So I am going to find... A ruler. Not a sharpie. At least tiny little pencils. Come here, tiny pencil. Is her name? What about tournament announcer Yuri from Union? <laughs> I see now you guys are Stardust are giving me just animes to watch and I like I mean I've seen that come Akami uh, kill one but one and a half inches okay 
So let's go to there with it so I know then that I have to how is she kind of bunched a little bit not really but okay Zah, okay pin down the corner want to make sure that I get the edges and what I'm gonna do because I have a feeling oops, that I will forget later let's snip this and let's snip this over here. That way the, they don't become a hassle. All right, let us head over to the battle. Mira Doc, hello, hello to you. I hope your day is going well. Let's uh, do some streamers. We'll bounce right on over. What do we have going on for the silver chest? We have 52 allies on the field. See, we're so close. So then how to get affiliate, we need uh, an average of 20. And we are a solid 17, let me tell you, a solid 17. I'm not hating, I'm just, if you guys are wondering like where we stand, we've got everything done, but that uh, 20 out of 20, we'll get there. All right, 52 allies for a three skull raiders. Let us place, let's just curse a bunch of people out here. Let's just curse them all. We don't wanna talk to you guys. Good luck raiders. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, welcome, welcome. I am Disfusional. Please free to call me Dis. We're ultra widescreen gamers and Warframe content creators, but I'm also a cosplayer and an artist. Tomorrow we are going to be doing some body painting. Hey, five years. It's five months, not five years. <laughs> Does it feel like five years? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, Joe. Feels like five years. Thank you so much for that resubby. Let me uh, pin this down, and then I will wheel on back to the fortune cookies. Oh, I dropped yours. I don't know if that's good or bad luck, but I couldn't throw it to myself and catch it. <laughs> You're as old as me, it's just an illusion. Just an illusion. that time ticker and tell me how long you guys have been kicking it here. I'm very like, wow. Wow. I will say dunking the fortune cookie in my hot cocoa was delicious. Almost to the point that like, I feel like it's lacking something right now. missing something, dare I say. Hmm. Getting a pen. And we will grant Cinemius for four kills and 12 assists. The Musketeer. Actually, I, uh, I think I was creeping in your stuff, Cinemius, and I think you need the paladin. <laughs> so I'm gonna send you the paladin blueprint. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna randomly grant Bawazi the musketeer. All right, Joe, your fortune reads as follows. Focus on your long-term goal. Your wish will be granted next year. Wow, that is very precise. <laughs> Focus on your long-term goal. Your wish will be granted next year. That's a... Save it! And we are heading off to a loyalty chest, and this is what I was saving the Bog Witch for. Bog Witch, where are you? Just Bog Witch yourself down. Get on with your Bog Self. Uh, 
Alright raiders, place down those units. We're going to try to refrain from going on this side here. There is a little bit right here if you guys want to squeeze them down, but that's what we'll do there. Heading back. Still my Discord pick too. <laughs> How many of the sugar bias announcers from Shogeki no Soma? The one that has everybody's like uh, important things, then I would just have to go around and steal everybody's cell phone and put them inside a stuffed animal. Or like I'd have snacks, ingredients. It's actually scary accurate of a fortune. My job is doing a complete reorg and consolidation of teams that is supposed to happen in 2022. Well, I uh, will cross my fingers for you. Who knew? You'd get such a frank uh, fortune. Interesting. So what I am doing right now, if you are just tuning in, I... Uh, Struggle bossing with some ruffles, to be completely honest, but we are placing ruffles down along the edge of uh, my Mad Moxie hip and bum rolls. So we're really just putting some ruffles on Moxie's, Moxie's ass. Let's just let's call it how it is. I'm putting some ruffles on that on that, trying to give her a dump truck of a derriere. I want people to see me walking and be like. Damn, disc got thick, and then I just be like, ha ha, it's padding. <laughs> like that's I want. That's my reaction. I want when we go to because Detroit is like my backyard convention, and so like I want it. I want it to be like people who see me be like, damn, dis, you did squats. Nope. <laughs> walk and actually have some hips that sway so that is what we are making here <laughs> oh. and the only person because I when I put contacts in and all the makeup and everything I'm more focused on all right don't trip walk straight don't run into anybody so we'll have to ask Sinemius if anybody's eyes linger on my hips or derriere this uh, weekend Please and thank you. <laughs> uh, and we did have to pull the other piece of the costume out because we needed to make sure that uh, we don't want it too outlandish. Um, and I want to make sure that I add enough to that when I put the belts on top of everything that she doesn't get squished. First things first, though. Stupid ass ruffles. So I've lined these ruffles to same. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. Because I definitely won't be looking. <laughs> and then Cinemius, it'll be like, ha ha, it's just stuffing. <laughs> I feel so mischievous. <sighs> oh man oh wow and then when something matches up perfectly holy shut the front door and you know what we haven't been doing how many stream raiders battles have we done thus far and how many progress photos work in progress photos have i taken zilch zero zip all right so we're gonna tack this down and then i am going to take a uh, progress photo because for these competitions they want you to put together like a workbook um, one that we will leave our patterns out of because when we got DQ'd back in what 2000 whenever they tried to keep our pattern workbook I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm also gonna paint my nails black not that you guys care or like give a rip but that's what's gonna happen <laughs> And then uh, what you do is you pick the best section of ruffles to photograph.
beverage out of the way. Scissors are okay. Because, you know, if I can tag a scissor company, too. It all, you all, don't judge. Just have to move everything I don't need in the photo out of the way. <laughs> you really get a feel for how much crap's on your desk. Photo captured. We can quickly pick up some of the staging. When in doubt, throw monster clips about. Um, what we don't want. Okay, this is what I didn't want. I'm gonna need a regular screwdriver. The screwdriver that comes with the sewing machine is so tiny that, like, it just it doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't absolutely make sense. And then I put this in my back pocket because. Uh, next step, we are going to stitch a straight stitch all the way around this, which means I need to do a couple things. We had loosened the top tension of our sewing machine, so we're going to bring it back up to four. We dropped it to two. And then I need to remove this really weird foot. And then I'm going to... No, I'm not. I'm going to leave it white. Or do I switch it to red? So here is, no, I'm going to switch it to red thread. I'm going to switch my thread up one more time. Here is why. As I do a straight stitch all the way across, if anything were to go wrong, I want to be able to see it. Um, white has already been done for our gathering. Red is just on hand. <laughs> it's another bright thread as well. Where is my bulbin? Bulbins, bulbins, where are you? I guess I could have used green, but we've got red going the rest of the way. And I've got my stamps out, too, because I do plan on stamping the fabric for the side of the mask that we do need to, uh... Oh. There's just not enough red on that bobbin. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we're going to try to use it, because, like, if there's not enough thread to do this, and there's probably not enough thread to do anything with it. Um... I just don't want it to beep at me telling me that it needs me to stop because there's not enough thread on it. But if we don't use it, then how? <sighs> Suck it up, buttercup. Let's do this. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Monday. Banana! Working on some concrete. If you have any questions regarding sewing, just ask. Anything regarding cosplay fabrication, just ask. Don't forget, though, we are less than 15 minutes out from the Warframe stream, where we will have some glorious trick and or treats for drop purposes. You don't have to leave us. You can just simply tab open a new window, continuing to graciously assist us with our 75 average viewers. I am completely in your hands as we work toward our next goal for Twitch Partner. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, providing you with entertainment, hopefully not sewing anything. Why, why did I put it away? Did I put them all away without even thinking that like you didn't even have half of your presser foot on the machine? What is this? Uh, we're going to put my gathering foot away. So here are all my feet for my sewing machine. Uh, I keep them in these little compartments. That way they're not hitting up against one another. I don't even know what some of them do. That's why I've got the directions for them. <laughs> I was told I needed them. And I go, all right. I will purchase them all. And then she goes, I can get you a discount. And I was like, we'll definitely purchase them all. And while we're at it, do you have these?
There. It's so much easier to tighten it with a normal, but like it doesn't fit. So it's got a random screwdriver sitting about. Pointy side down. There is, uh, I do keep some things like this container has the Husqvarna Viking Emerald 116 pieces. And then this compartment right here contains the B44 fun lock. And then the rest of it's just for this machine. Now I can put you away because I'm like officially done with you. Why, why is there a random cup in there? Ah! Yep. Oh no! I pushed myself back without grabbing... What's this? Oh, that's thread. Oh, husky thread. Actually, no, 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 no. We're going to take this and we're going to write a little H. So some of these bobbins work for my Husqvarna and some of them don't. This one works for my Husky and I'm going to put an H on it because sometimes I don't know and I don't like to keep on trying out bobbins. So we're just, yes, perfect. Wunderbar. I only end up using white with that other sewing machine for when we sew down galvanized steel. Wrap that back up, put it in this little case here. Cool, get those up and out the way. As someone who has five electric guitars and a bass, I have randomly Allen wrenches right all over the place. I got Allen wrenches too, and I'm like, there's nothing in the sewing machine that needs an Allen wrench. What's why? And I forgot to put this bobbin away. Which is, I'm sure it's how your Allen keys go sometimes, too. Like, why do I have six different bobbins in black? I don't know. Probably somewhere around the same way. But where'd I put the red? Oh. Did you roll too? What is going on here? Sick and twisted. And every once in a while, I'll use the threader. I don't know why I don't use it more often. I don't want to, I guess. All right. Pulled out just a little bit of the red, because again, we're going to try to do this without having to uh, re-roll the bobbin. Houser of everything. Bob and Case is out the way. We don't need those up there. Not that we need them over there either, but hey. <sighs> All right. Let's feed her through. I am going to do it on a little bit of a uh, wider of a stitch. I think we're going to go with a... Uh, a three, three point five, three point five, three, three, three. Grave dancer, I ha am having to listen more and watch. But you sound like me when I'm sewing mine in my husband's cosplay. That's what it says. I don't know. We're just gonna give it a whirl, right? It's uh, and then as before you put it in the machine, you go all right, sewing machine gods. I'm leaving this one to you. I've got ruffles. Can you just work with me here? Tell me I've got the appropriate bob intention that I need to not cluster up the back end. Arigato. And then uh, we jump into it. Three rolls for Vauban. Only three? Are you talking about Vauban Prime? Three rolls. Okay, let's start off the... I'm going to start off the ruffles and then proceed to go on top of the ruffles because I want to sew them down, but I don't want to like... Back. Yeah, you'll see. Well, maybe you won't, because it's not an aerial cam. Oh, but when you put everything inside here, you can't put the items that really need to go in there. Oh, alas. It is an automated machine, so I'm going to start with my foot down. That way I can stop, stare at you guys with an oh no look on my face, and then proceed. <laughs> Yeah. The oh no look. Uh, 
And again, I'm going to try anything that I keep within my 5 8 edge will not be seen when I go to stitch this bad boy together. So that is what we're doing. We're going to just keep everything. Now, Dis, what happens if you can see the white line? That's fine. If I can see the white line on either side of the stitch as I am tacking down, because I'm literally going down the same exact... Uh, what are we doing? We're sitting here at 3 8 I'm sewing my... Or sewing the ruffles down at the 3 8 inch, which is exactly where I did my ruffled straight stitch. Uh, so yes, I should be... And with the ruffles, sometimes they're going to be on one side, sometimes it's going to be on the other. We're just going to carefully make sure that we're sewing it on that bend. I do have a see-through foot on so I can see what I'm doing. I've got these monster clips. That way they are easy to pull off, but they're also not going to be leaving any extra holes in my fabric and or damaging my uh, patterns that I stamped on there. So remember, we made this fabric by stamping the pattern that we needed onto it. So the last thing I want is one of my uh, pins to joust through the ink and then leave like a, a permanent uh and so you can see here out the back end and I do have the red but she's gonna look nice she's gonna look real nice as soon as I pull these white stitches out hmm Pull you guys here then. Right? Or did I sew you down that firmly? Oh, good. Good gracious. Just pick you up against the line there. I might have found another character. Cerula Sanguish from Gun. I don't know if anyone's actually known Gun. Uh, see, and you'll have to forgive me because you said Gunnum, and I was like, do you mean Gundam? But you know what I do have, Cookie? I have Google. And Google is always correct, right? And everything that it turns. Okay, so the Gurum is actually called Battle Angel. Alita. Oh. She got that high ponytail. I've never. Is this just a manga or is this an anime? Anime list. Gunam, last order. Yeah, it looks like it's just showing up to me as a manga. Is that... Can, cookies, is this just a manga? Is it a good manga? Pray tell. Pray tell. Enlighten us. And I'm gonna keep stitching. any time that you know in my haste of clipping it down I didn't quite get it to the edge I just take my monster clips out and uh, readjust it oh, okay so this is my I was wondering how we were going to uh, make this this point work but we gonna do it I am going to, because where's this pin come? Okay, so it does go in there. So let's just... And then it'll go up, and I can switch it up. Okay. There is a bit of a... Uh, there is... There are edges on the inside, because it is, you know, almost like a scalloped edge. Like, real large scallop. Mainly a manga. There's an anime movie... Okay, but it's only an hour. Hey, we just I just was telling everybody how I enjoyed Elvira's 1988 Mistress of the Dark because it was only, you know, 94, 96 minutes long. Um, not opposed to that. I've even uh, been enjoying some of the anime that's been out that are only like 5 minutes or 15 minutes, like the, the short ones too. There's a horror anime, too, 
uh, that Sinemius and I have been really digging. My foot pressed on the pedal a little too hard there, and it, it uh, hiccup. Stream Raiders, yep, we are under 10 minutes on the Stream Raiders battle. Let me see if I can find the horror anime that we have been thoroughly enthralled with. <laughs> He's a guy quartet? Not that one. I, I, I just, it was loading. So. <laughs> As the web page loads, I'm going to keep sewing. I do see that. What I don't want is I don't want the ruffled top to bend over. I want the ruffled tops to stay in place. Moriarty. Sinemius, we need to finish Moriarty. We've got like three episodes left. Okay. Miruka-chan. Maruko-chan. Here it is. I, this is a horror anime. It's new and I, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to toss it in there. <laughs> toss it up in our chat. And again, I watched it for free on Funimation. We're caught. I, I, ah. I won't, I won't make any spoilers on that one. She shouldn't have lost and only lost because of the, some miracle kind of thing. What? Hold on. It's basically a pretty badass vampire. And uh, Aphex, she only lost because she fought the protagonist. And well, we all know how that ends. Oh, okay. So she is like the bee's knees. Oh, I can, okay. And maybe that's it. Maybe I just want to be badass characters because, like, oh, man. Dreams. Just going to push this side down a bit. Cha. I just, I'm, I like straightening it out. See, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't even know if the, the posting links for you would go through. I posted a link. I posted an anime link. Slot grab bags. That's a great idea. Okay, hold on, Thomas, though. The, you were looking at the treats. You're like, oh, yeah, no, that looks great. Having, uh, you know, weapon slots, companion slots. Well, that's only if you get the treat. Did you see what happens if you get tricked? How many ammo drums or vitality do you think you're going to get? <laughs> that's the real question. That's the real question. Friendly reminder too that this is our last week for Quest to Conquer Cancer fundraising. At the end of stream on Thursday, I will be sending all of our end data to uh, Digital Extremes. Probably five ammo drums, right? Hey, Dis, I got a suggestion on Twitter to follow the topic, beauty, and the tweet with it was your poison hold on i've got a suggestion on twitter to follow the topic beauty and the tweet with it was your poison epi oh really and also i uh, i did forget something in all the hoopla that uh we had there before i took the break Oh 
Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm hallucinating. I think I'm hallucinating. Probably hallucinating. We're gonna go with that one. I thought I saw Panda in chat, but I, I must have been mistaken. Panda, if you hear me, hello, hello. I thought I saw you in chat, but sometimes I think I'm just hallucinating it, and like I saw your your name like the other weeks. So my weeks are just starting to like moosh together. I upgraded to Windows 11. Wish me luck. Oh my god. Good luck with updating all of your drivers. <laughs> Oh, Windows. Can't you just leave us all alone? <laughs> After stream, I'm gonna keep on working on... Uh... I gotta go one more. I'm gonna keep working on my Mad Moxie, even when you guys aren't around. Uh, I think I might look for more Mistress of uh, Darkness on Amazon Prime. Since I have Sinemius' laptop, I wouldn't have to, uh... <laughs> I've been here since the beginning of the stream. Hi, Panda. I, I thought, I, I just, I just didn't know, and I thought I had seen you make a comment, and I was like, oh, things were, and I didn't know if I had, and so I just wanted to say hello. God damn it, Panda, hello. Uh, Alright, we are so close to the end, but most accidents happen just around the corner from where you live, because that's when you get the most comfortable with your driving skills, and I believe the same thing goes for Soe. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, ask a seamstress. <laughs> I've never been so happy to have excruciatingly long nails as it comes to feeding these ruffles underneath the presser foot. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta dance it out. The only downside to sewing my presser foot is not Crocs friendly. You just can't, you can't feel it. You just can't feel it. By golly, we've done it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna shove the ruffles back inside because, uh... Don't get too comfortable, ruffles. I'm gonna have to sandwich you down. So stay back, stay stay flat. Don't, don't unscoosh yourselves from your... Uh, I'm comfortable placement. And now we're gonna grab the top. So, you guys, I went through and I found the perfect. Now again, as soon as it, everything gets on top of it, it's probably gonna rub some of the 
wonderful and beautiful. We're just going to pin those back to my butt. Oh, you can't even see that I was just assaulting myself over in the corner here. <laughs> I don't know what to call my mannequin. I don't. I feel like I need to name him her, but I don't know what. Since it's a mimic of myself, like I don't want to call it. I'm just pinning to Dis over here. Battle has begun. Let's make our way over there. And at the same time, progress photo, right? Progress photo. All right. And then I've got to... Progress photo. Okay, so why Stream Raiders is going off, I have to get take a progress photo of my work. I got to remember this. Got to remember this. Well, if this is the person... Sid should be the doppelganger! <gasps> okay. The fact that... Oh my gosh. That... Oh, I need to be Sid. I need to cosplay Sid from Toy Story on like a Sunday. Or like a, a day that I'm just walking around the convention. Let's play a game. I want to ride the pony! Um, <laughs> Let's... <laughs> Stream Raiders. Four skulls. What do we have? Tens. Let's do this. Reach for the sky. Discourtesy. <laughs> uh, reach for the sky. Open drops. Mm, Warframe, do I have to refresh? Where are my drops at? My drop bar progress at? All right, there we go. Oh, <gasps> no! The bog witch got us. Spam cheese, cheese, cheese. Well, we're always going to keep playing. It's a, it's a loyalty chest. This is a doozy. We want this one. We're going to start the battle. We're going to do this. And I'm going to lay down my artillery. Alright. If you've got epic potions, big units, this is our loyalty chest. A gold loyalty chest. Extra money. Show me the money, and we'll just anywhere. I need busters. 40-some minutes left before uh, new scrolls open up. What mouse are you using? This, uh, so this mouse is just the Logitech pairing. It's the mouse that, and keyboard that we use in the living room, and I have dropped it so many times that it's taped. <laughs> so this is this is just a very cheap Logitech M250. It's nothing to write home about. This is this is like the cheapest Logitech mouse and keyboard combo you can get that if you spill water onto it or anything, like I won't be be divorced. I uh, this is yeah. It's you with new legs, Lieutenant Dis! <laughs> I've got thighs, though. I do like Sid, though. But yeah, it's just it's just a very inexpensive mouse. Uh, and it's kind of too big for my hands, but I got tired of trying to bring my tiny little mouse that's downstairs. Um, up here, but yeah, it's just it's just a a normal normal mouse Taped and all because uh, I drop it too often Here we'll just we'll 
We'll get the ugly thing out of the way. Oh, and I gotta take a photo. You probably need to upgrade that mouse soon. Oh, I mean, it's still good. We're, we're still good. It it goes with the keyboard that's missing the back little legs because I drop it too much. Uh, so <laughs> if the cheaper they are up here in the studio with the art stuff, the better. Uh, what I do need to upgrade is the mouse that I use for streaming. It's it's an old mouse. Um, but we good. We're just we're making do with what we got. We're just having a good time. having a good time I don't need my sewing machine light on anymore if I'm not sewing at this very moment in time just lining up now my uh, inside my top and my bottom fabrics right sides together so my pretty sides are sandwiching in all of my ruffles Making sure that my centers meet at the center. Current studio upgrade that I'm working on is uh, toward that tablet. That way I can get more emotes out, more channel graphics going, all the good stuff. I, I, kn I can do it myself, I just uh, don't have the tech to do it since my paperweight is literally... So, anyways, goes, so uh, can you watch Twitch on it? And I go, no, she's, she's a goner. She's a goner. Using monster clips again, that way I am not creating extra holes where they do not need to be. I'm also making sure, too, that my ruffles aren't trying to overlap my fabric in a weird way. I don't want, I don't want that. I am going to be switching up my top and bottom, top and bobbin thread for this to the brown. Kind of pillowy. This is where they wanted me to put a twill strapping in the side here. I'd have to dye some brown. I do have some and I thought about it. And then I was like, well, what if I just made a waistband for it? I have a feeling I'm gonna have to tuck that in here before I sew this all together. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Hmm. <laughs> and these monster clips are not the uh, Clover name brand. They are the eBay version because for the clover ones for a pack of like ten dollars it's like or a pack of ten it's like 20. i bought 200 for like eight bucks um and then i don't feel bad if i've got a bunch of super glue on them i even picked some up for mama dis and she was thrilled she's like they're so expensive i go not if you don't buy them. Even with a coupon at Joan Fabrics, these monster clips, you're like, hold on, that's not even going to get me through a project. That's going to clip like a pant leg. <laughs> I'm 
gonna put two on the end here. Perfect. Now we will pin or clip to the other side. And I'm just trying to match the outermost edge together. Snippin' and clippin' right along. Oh. Thanks so much for dropping those units. Again, this is a loyalty chest battle. So if you've got any epic potions or uh, strong units that you could place on the battlefield to assist us, much appreciated. Our boss fight is uh, a little ways out. In case you were wondering, like, oh no, I, but I'm saving those for the boss fight. These will, this weekend will be our trial run too with Mad Moxie, making sure that she's good to go for C2E2 in December. We're not competing at C2E2 with her, uh, but we will be bringing her along for some fun. here just like I did to the other guy we just put one at the end we did two down here to make sure that she was secured I guess this is the best. Oh, can I fold you? There we go. So I'm pressing the fabric together a little ways out and then going back and putting extra clips in between. Anyways, how comes the swimsuit Fremmy Speed Draw? I didn't know I was supposed to be making a swimsuit Fremmy Speed Draw, but I do have a Fremmy Speed Draw cosplay. And it's kind of already a swimsuit. I don't think if I wore Fremmy Speed Draw out and about, anybody would know Roku Brave of the Six Flowers. Like, I don't think. should be doing is figuring out how we are going to let's check to see if I've got twill half inch twill half inch huh half inch it's gonna be in this drawer I thought I had a whole spool of it okay this looks like it's three quarters inch but who's going to judge Oh, it's one inch. It's completely, uh, significantly thicker than what we need. Now, 
do I have brown dye? No. I have sand. Sand isn't what we need. Hmm. Because this was originally supposed to be white, then of course with the twill, the white would have worked. Oh. So here's what I'm, do I create a sleeve to cover the twill with the fabric? So let's pin you to where you're supposed to go. See, like, I got my little, it'd be, it'd be a little padding, padding, a little butt padding, if you will. Um, so, for my twill, what they, what you're supposed to do is you want to tie it. I want to tie it in the back. Um, I want to make enough that it'll go around the back to tie back here. So that's gonna put it at what? 36 inches? Do I have two yards that I can sleeve? I do. Significantly do. And this would have no problem going from front, sewn in in front, to wrapped around, and tied in the back. Whether it be a knot or a little bit of a bow. I might want to do a little bit more than 36. What if we did a 40? 42? 42 inches? Karasu 42? 42 inches it is. That is how we figure this one out. Karasu's name's got 42 in it, so we're going to go with 42 inches. 41, 42. I'll fold it over here. Sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to my math. We just roll with it. And yes, I will be sleeving this. I want it to match. I want, so this will be tied and then the brown dress will go over top of it. Even if I were to dye it, you would still see that it's not the same. Yeah, I would sew it down here. That way I can do the fold over at the other side. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. 42 would be perfect. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. Or do I want the support to go all the way around? Hold up. Nope, now I need more than just 42. So here we go. If I'm thinking, when I strap these things on, I'm going to be tying them taut. So it's gonna go around the whole entire. We're gonna stitch this to the whole entire damn top. Yeah, I'm doing it that way. All right, so we're gonna try to find that middle. And, and then if this is just knotted, nope, I need a little bit more slack. And then I could tie a knot and or whatever I need. Let's make it a little shorter. can always tuck it on the inside too, but between these two layers would be perfect. Let's see what we got here then. Yeah, okay. The 
it was going to be 42, but now we are going... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually... So the reason for Twill is it's it's woven cotton. She's sturdy. Sturday. Um, this is what I've got for my uh, slip underneath my Ursula cosplay. Cutting it means that it is legit happening. Now I just need a lighter to burn this place down. No, just the, just the. I still have a bunch left. Awesome. Now it smells like burning up here. And then I don't have to worry about dying things. Yeah, nobody wants to do that. Put the lighter away. Just trying to clean things up a little bit. That way I can move around. All right, where did the scrap fabric go? Here she is. Not a problem, I'm not worried about this. It's just gonna be a little time consuming. It's fine, we're gonna be doing some top stitching. Get the brown going. It'll be good, it'll be fine, it'll be good. need to figure out is how many cuts from this fabric I'm going to need. I think it's going to be two. It's going to be two. So what I want to do is encase this. So I just do a uh, double fold bias tape. That would be the easiest. Mm, I would need to find one that's half. So I think it's going to be the big boy. Let's see what we got going on here. Right, because one inch is going to be my two inch kicker, which is going to be... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be fine. So we will be running. So it's going to be a four inches. Yep, that's fine. So it's going to be two. Yep. And we'll put the split seam right in the back. We'll do a diagonal. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna need four inches, like three, three and the three quarters, I think is what we, I, uh, will do this at. That way it folds over nicely, because four was too much, we decided, or I decided. Um. There's so much around me right now. A little overwhelming. Get over there. We're gonna use this to make the waistband. I guess then at that point, I don't need to, since my waistband is going to be sandwiching the bottom. And that's what's gonna be used to hold in. You got your first drop. Shut the front door. What'd I get? I'm at 70%. Womp womp. Um, where is... There she be. So we're gonna do three and... Three quarters. So one, two, three, and three quarters. Let's just. Or do I want to do four, knowing that I'm going to go over that and it's not going to fit perfectly? I want to do four then.
do four then. And it's gonna be two at four, right? Yeah, it's gonna be two at four. Actually, I think I can use one of the spare pieces to hit, because it wasn't what, it just, it didn't need a whole one, it just needed a good chunk. So if I can chunk it, then I can just put that at one of the, nice, but I don't think so. I don't think this is gonna be enough on these pieces here. And what is this down here? No, that is just the fabric by itself. Okay, that's fine. It is fine, we're good. But I don't think I need all of it again. I think I can get away with just doing a little bit. And if that's the case, what's that? So I am working right now on my butt. <laughs> Smashums, resobbing, yay! And I don't know why it didn't. I saw the subby before. Uh... Smart, they did. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. So, what we're really going to have to figure out is how many fortune cookies are really left. <laughs> because I'm not gonna lie, there was a lot more fortune cookies in here. And I'm uh, starting to get concerned with how many fortune cookies I've eaten this month. Only by a little bit. Only a little concern. Not a lot concerned, but a little concern. So we are currently working on the uh, bum roll, hip and bum rolls for Mad Moxie. I've got the large dress behind us that'll go on top of all of this, but. I'm con crunching. This is due. When I say do, I mean Yomokan starts on Friday. Technically, it starts on Thursday, but I'm gonna be hanging out with you guys on Thursday, and we're gonna be doing a Mad Moxie uh, makeup test. Over the last year, we've been doing all these makeups and SFX and body painting streams that hopefully I've I've gotten better at. But we're gonna try it out ahead of time. That way, I can pull the paints that I need to ahead of time. That way, they're already. Ready to go for a hasty day. Hmm. Mad Moxie will be in a cosplay competition this Saturday. Is the whole premise. All right, smash him. All right, smash them. You will find hidden treasures where you least expect them. In bed. Oh! <laughs> I just know that you like doing that at the end, so I figured if I made a point to say that at the end of yours. Oh, I do need to. I'm just hallucinating. <laughs> and actually, I need like two and a little bit of a blip. And I can definitely get the blip out of here and just have to sew it in. Finds a seat for a disc. This is art, chair, craft class. Yeah, I mean, we're just... I, I really, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. We're just haphazardly making things up now as we go along. We have definitely derailed from the plans. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Tis fine. Hmm. I wonder how you use this part of the ruler. Everybody asks before they use that part of the ruler. What if I put it this direction? I imagine. 
Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to, uh... Do I have to really use the tiny scissors? Oh, <laughs> where are my big scissors at? Oh, there they are. I was saying, do I really have to use the small scissors? I don't know what to say. Disappointing. Oh, what's disappointing? Ah, nice big old scissors. I was just making a joke. Oh, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I, uh, I don't use my name as, as punny as you guys do. But I'm also completely oblivious, so I just want to make sure that I'm not <laughs> completely missing something. You know? Maybe you don't, but now you do. So trimming... Uh, Oh, this isn't even going to be seen. It's going to be completely hidden. Why do you even give a shit? Why are you doing this? You just continued. It's where it's supposed to be. Okay, so I do have to cut two of these. Um, that was my mistake. And we are putting them at four inches. We are slowly running out of fabric that we've printed on. So let's hope that we are also coming to an end of needing the fabric in which we printed on. So I am now cutting out two four inch strips. I'm going to end up sewing these together and then creating a uh, double fold bias tape and casing for my twill tape. That way everything's the same. Sometimes I find it easier to cut fabric if I'm holding it in the air. I'm not confined by tables! <laughs> oh, I could have claimed that drop, but I was too busy dicking around. Oh. Speaking of drop, I'm going to have to go to the restroom. <laughs> oh, my bladder. But I'm going to cut this out first before I pee my pants. Huh? Huh? Oh, man. Oh, Stream Raiders battle. We got that, too. Oh, there's a whole lot going on right now. I'm bored, and when I'm bored, I have a mood for weak jokes. Oh, Toss them about, that. Toss them about. We like those. We like some weak ass jokes up in her. <laughs> the more dad, uncle, or teacher, aunt, babysitter, grandparent oriented there are, the better. Let's just kill all these people with killing fire. And cross our fingers for the best. That's the best. That's all we can do. All right, I'm going to cut this out. And then when I'm done with this... I'm going to have to like hastily run. You know when you're, maybe you don't. Maybe maybe you are all adults and don't have this issue anymore. Uh, I end up like finding myself vigorously doing a dance as I'm trying to undo my belts and, and pants at the in the bathroom. Like, ah, we should have uh, decided to step away sooner.
I'm not even holding it. I'm just draping it over my hand like this will be fine. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm cutting fabric in the air. Uh, I've noticed that when I do this, I don't get any jagged scissor lines. Because these are of almost the similar, and stick that over there. I'm not going to deal with that. Here's one. Here's two. So that'll go like that. I am going to use a pin. Ah! Just because I don't want to mess this up. Oh, I'm going to throw a pin. Sorry, Raiders. I am contemplating what... Oh, I wanted to put... but Because I, I don't think... I think this shortens it significantly then. All right. Uh, let's open up our victory chest. Thanks so much. Oh, Stardust Rebel! 18 kills, 9 assists. You beat Funch up by 9 assists for 200 gold. Stardust, enjoy, enjoy. And then we're going to randomly pick Joe Monkey for the Monk Scroll. Keep it moving. We've got a question mark. For the question mark, I am going to put down this big guy right here. And what if I only put Battle Plants on part of the map? What happens? Oh. I didn't I meant to do this one. Alright, Rainers, please feel free to place those units. I am going to uh I need to figure out so before I step away from a project, I'd like to uh get some bearings about what I'm gonna be coming back to. Now, for almost everything else, including like my ruffles, which you can't tell, but I match the seams, I match those together. Uh, like, the pattern for my, my ruffles match going all the way. Like, <sighs> uh. So this is like this. I want to sew it here. Hmm. I guess then I should just sew it normal, but Just trying to see how I'm gonna fit these together in a crazy psychopathic way. <laughs> Pretty much. don't think this will make it then in fact longer let me uh, lay this out now so I'm just trying to see if uh, I've got with my little mix and match back center insert there that will also then act as a way to make it sturdier here and it here I mean obviously that's not exact but it gives me an idea that if this is the center no that won't work that way okay so we'll have to do it the other it's okay 
It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Best to do it neat and clean and to get technical and have it not work and be sloppy. So we'll put that there and then this one. This over, right? Yeah, I like that end. So I'm gonna pair these guys up. Dun 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 dun. I need to pin this one down. I wanna go this way so I can see it. And I'm definitely gonna have to get brown out in a minute because I don't trust I don't trust my ability to sew straight line what do you make a date we are we are hastily trying to finish up mad moxie before uh, we've got a presenter to a panel of judges this weekend <laughs> I am trying to give myself some bodacious hips um, and and as Sanemius, or no, Jeff will try, put it the best way. I want to, I want to make it so that I have to, there needs to be a beeping sound when Mad, Mad Moxie goes to, to back up. Work, 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 right? <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm working on it. <laughs> she needs to have, she needs to have a booty. So I need to make her one because mine gets completely eradicated by all the gear that goes on. And we've got it all. I've got to end up having to suit her up in it when I put some padding in here initially to see how it looks. Make that dump truck. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. To uh, assist with holding up our dump truck additive, we needed some twill tape. But the twill tape, obviously, as you see, is white. Um, so I needed it to be brown. And this is how it, So we'll tie it in the back like that. That way no one can see it. Um, and then this will all get covered up by the second skirt. Just call me a costume engineer. I've got, s oh gosh, you guys are going to see a really cool, like, how she gets put together, together. Oh, man. Browns are, no, browns are not. Browns would be over... That's reds, blacks, browns, and everything in between. Yes, betwinst. Betwinst, betwinst. That's my color. So this looks like my color too. This also looks like black. That's black. And that's too light. Okay, so now that I've got the brown, let's see, did I leave the brown out? No! Why would I have done that? That would have been too easy. So let's go into the contraption that is down here. Let's find some. Looking for some bobbin brown. Ooh, okay. Jackpot. I believe it is a 594 that we want. Oh gosh, how did you know that off the top of your head? You were psychotic. That's some embroidery thread. Right? That's, 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 some, that's some thick stuff right there. A 593? Oh no, I went with a 94, but I picked a 93 anyways. Oh, because I guess maybe they didn't have a 90. Yep. But what we should also do is figure out that's the teal that I used, not you. Um, and then the maroon. Yep, that way we don't have to fumble through here again. Oh, I'm gonna need the yellow too, though. 
Um, and were you a... Nope, that's two, so you're gonna be a 955. Are you a 955 is what I'm asking. Maybe. You can be a 950, you'd have to be a 955. There's no way you're a nine. That's too golden. And this here is just... Too thick. There's no way. So I'm gonna say that it has to be this. Unless there's a yellow out and there's not. Oh, shit. I mean, shoot. <laughs> I create a uh, emergency to-go kit. And in there, I keep fabric, pasties, and what is this? A 955. Oh, 855. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. And then what's this maroon that we got here? 438. That's a 440. That's, that's, that's not, that's, uh, that's the wrong. So we're going to have to pull these ones out. And the brown, is the brown right? 93 is what I use. I use a 93? I do use 93, not the 94? Damn, okay. That caught me off guard, so we do use the 93. Interesting, we'll keep this tiny 93 in the... I'm gonna still use the 94. I've got so much in the 94. No one's gonna be able to tell. But they will be able to tell... Oh no, that's the same one too. Between uh, 436 and... Yeah, that's a big difference. Yeah, that's a big difference. You are obviously the wrong one. That was my bad. But does that mean that you're the right one? You're too purple, aren't you? A 436 and a 443. Okay, we're gonna take all of these and stick them on this tree back here. Oh no, that's a green. That's straight green. Not you though, I need you. And we'll take this red out and put it on the tree too. That way my moxie colors are quick and easy to get to. I'm gonna put the extras back in because you never know when you're going to need like a spot check. Oh no, something busted. And I'd rather have the exact color that I need than have like a yellow or red. And again, knock on wood, I've never needed to do such a thing, but I think it's because I've always then had the exact color that I need to and my projects are all like, oh, this is no fun. We can't get her. She's like prepared for us to F up. Yes. Yes, I am. But when you don't, it makes me happy. Resetting for when we come back from our next break. I'm gonna put the correct bobbin thread in there. I've got this already situated. Um, I should do one final measure, but I'm gonna wait until I've sewn it because that's the risky way I like to lead. I do have to use the ladies room. Let's see here. Oops. Maybe I'll grab a snack while I'm down there and bring it back up. Crunch a munch a munch a crunch with you guys. I know why your brother had to reset uh, his Netflix password so that he can watch Komi-san Can't Communicate. That's exactly what came out last week. And that's the only thing I can think of my brother-in-law wanting to uh, watch and need a Netflix password. That's exactly what happened. I guarantee he's binge-watched the first half of Komi-san Can't Communicate. If I had to pay bet money on it, Looking for the cap to this pan. It, I saw it over here, and, and then I don't know what I did with it, because, like, I didn't want it over there. <laughs> oh, man. Did 
Did I put it in here? Nope. Well, I'm going to put that in there then. Alright, we are reset. We will have to iron this down later. I mean, like, literally as soon as we're done. Oh, should I search the ends of it? <sighs> Since it is going to be... No, because it'll add an extra layer of bump to it, and I don't want to. Since we're just going to hastily be ironing it out, I'm not going to uh, surge the waistband. Because it will be sandwiching what's already surged. So if that goes behind it, it'll stay smooth and flat. I will see the bump against my skin, but it'll be smooth as an outward appearance for nobody to see because it's going to be underneath four layers of fabric. And when I say four layers, I mean just four pieces, which have been multiple layers on them. So yeah, that's that's great. What was he looking for? Iron, ironing board. It's right behind Magda's wings. So, I do have pieces of Magda laying around. Here are the wings that'll come off of her shoulders. Jiraki Knight, hello, hello. We'll get there, we'll get there to when, uh, I just loop that. Nope, oh dang. Can you get back up there? Cool. Thank you so much for that subby. Jirak Knight, thank you so much for subbing. Uh, let me... Oops. Uh, I guess we should get this ready to go. I'm going to stitch these down. And then we can just throw it over to the machine after we double check length. So I'm going to drop my presser foot. I'm going to keep my foot down, or my pedal down. Discord, yes, yes, yes. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, hello and welcome. I am Disfusional. My friends call me Dis. Please feel free to do so as well. I'm an ultra widescreen gamer and Warframe content creator, but I'm also an artist and cosplayer. Currently doing some uh, some con crunch as we have a convention this weekend. I don't like the way that that came out at all. What is going on here? Who did not get uh, threaded correctly? Bobbin, that was on me. Damn it, Tess. <laughs> All right, we'll just have so much excitement ripping this out. Yeah, it, the... When you don't put the bobbin in correctly, it happens. But what I didn't expect is to back... Yeah, mm-hmm. Good job, Tess, you stupido. Wow, that's a, that was a silly, silly, silly mistake on my part. Wonderful. I wonder if I can just pull. And most of the front, well, yeah. It's that glorious of a mistake, huh? When the mistake is so bad that the thread just wants to yeet itself from the placement that you so-called stitched it down in. Ha! My bad. So let's uh, give it a whirl again. Just like the ruffle. Second time's the charm. much, 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 much better. When I say much, I mean night and day. 
And so let's stitch down then this other connection. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Monday. Make sure that we're sewing in the right direction. It's the little things. Forward. Oh, that did not sound good. Whoa, why, why did it want to do that? What happened there? Oh, no, you're in there. Was that just me stopping and... So, sewing through... Did I really... Mo mess things up that much when I was... Playing with that other foot? Oops. Oops. Well... Don't do what I did, kids. Be kind to your sewing machine. This bobbin has little to nothing on it too, which is not assisting us. What do we have it set to? 2.5? That should be fine. I'm just having one of those days where everything I try to do has to be uh, done again. What convention is this upcoming weekend? In Detroit is Yomacon. It is the ninth biggest anime convention in the United States. And it is just in our backyard. So let's, let's try this again. Let's just make sure that the bobbin is kicking in the right spot. We're good to go through everything else. And we're gonna run it again. No, something's going on. Something is not okay. Something has really got my project now. Oh, man. So there are a couple things that could be... Wow, it just, like, took a whole chunk of... <sighs> okay, we, uh... Damn it. Now we've got to do maintenance on this stupid thing. <sighs> oh, yeah, so my Monday's going. You know, there must be fuzz or something jammed in there. Let's, it's time to clean. Damn. All right, I'm gonna put a pin in where we still need to sew. Shrapnel all in front of me. Let's tear this thing apart. I need a certain tool to get in to these sections. So I am going to take my whole entire presser foot off, or bobbin area out and off. Oh, come on. I'm gonna drop things inside there, but don't worry, I've got tweezers. Don't want to lose them. You're your own bosses. For that, so much more. Uh, yeah. My boss, though, she has me working over my breaks. And when things happen, not only does she, she expects me to fix them, too. Oh, shh. I see what the issue is.
right. Um, now that I've removed the small cat from inside my sewing machine. Let's, uh, thread her back up and put it back together. Just a small cat. Time to visit Naperville? I mean... Time to visit Naperville? Probably. Just a small cat in there. But, like, there's something else I need to... Like I'm in a game of operation right now. What are you doing? Just trying to free the kitten. <laughs> Just pulling out chunks. So there was a lot of dust and all that in my gears. I wanna make sure things are free of movement. Not to say that there probably wasn't any, uh, like it could be the bobbin could be wound weird. I could have, you know, there's so many things that could have made this issue. So just clean everything off. And I just use a fan brush. And then I will put everything back in. I'll put everything back in. Oh no. Why won't you go back in? Something's not laying flat. <laughs> Fudge. So, anybody ever have one of these issues? You take your machine apart, can't for the life of you remember how to have to put it back together? Cool, me too. I'm glad we can bond over that. Let me find my book. <laughs> Surgers, where is it? It's one of these, come on, it's a... Uh, sewing machine, complete surgery techniques. These aren't them. Where's my book? Where's my sewing machine books? Oh, damn it. I don't know where my book is at for this thing. Nope. This is why I want a bookcase, Sanemia, so I can put all my books so I can see them. Mm, I thought it would be in with this, but no, it's not. Freaking A, because I mean, like, I've got the brunette and all that with this, damn it. Ugh! I, yeah, I, I can't freaking 
see it. Um, surging, embroidery, machines. Nope. Um, well, this is, uh, not good. <laughs> How do I, I mean, I can just find it online, but <sighs> now I'm frustrated. Where the... this out. Why the f I put that back away? Um, would I have taken it out when I needed it for this? And if so, there's no finding it again. <sighs> nope, I don't see it in here. But it could be at the bottom up here. That's why I'm just like... Oh, yeah, it is at the bottom of here. Damn it. So I decided to bury, apparently, my uh, book of what the frick to do underneath my uh, embroider. You know, where people put shit, that's important. So I'm just trying to uh, shimmy shit out from my embroidery case. Where my embroidery arm is being kept. Um. Oh. Oh, everything holy. Downstairs in the fat No, nothing, nothing, uh, if anything, it'd be downstairs in that bookcase, but no, nothing would be in that, f in the filing cabinets. No, no, no. Nothing that I would need, um, for the studio. No. No, no, no. All right, let's see, uh, how we put this thing back together. Yeah, no, I don't need to know how to put the bobbin back in. I need to know how to put the bobbin casing that I pulled out back in. Um, let's see here. Basic sewing, machine setup. Foot control. Winding the bobbin, inserting the bobbin. Let's go to 11. Hmm, okay, so you're showing me at least the control arm part. Oh. Let me just pull this bitch back out. Hmm. You're assuming I've got this thing already on it. That's no, no. I'm, I'm. I'm a step after, I'm a step before that. Let's, uh, you know. <laughs> what happens when you fold your sewing machine apart? How do you put this thing back together? Nope, oh, I thought those were machine pieces saying somebody took something apart, but nope, we're just gonna keep. Maybe you're not supposed to do this. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Pop the top. Yep, I did that already. Oh, I, I, I actually removed that. You're telling me not to remove that. Oh, well. I needed some extreme cleaning. Not Bob. <laughs> Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? Actually, I should be probably working with this turned off. <laughs> oh. All right. Bob on. Not Bob on here. No. So I've got, I got my, my, my Bob on here. I know the Stream Raiders battle is ready. Um. So it looks like it goes in this way. But how come it doesn't fit in this way? Cinemius, we're just gonna have to buy a whole brand new one. 
kidding. I'm just kidding. Actually, I won this one. Oh! Don't think the ball bond's supposed to jump out at me like that, right? See, it has the little circle doohickey guy way not there. So that's why it's got me wondering if this goes underneath there. But then it doesn't fit. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. And it's stuck. And it's stuck. Oh my goodness, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna say this is how it has to go in Cause she's not going in any other way And she just kinda like I wiggled and she sat And let's uh Oh okay okay Whatever I just did was what Okay cool Now where are both my screws Cause I've obviously got a couple of short in my head Stupid sewing machine I mean, I love you. Please don't do anything weird just because I called you stupid. I didn't mean it. You're the one that's just had me take a lot of dust out of you. I'm like, why is there dust everywhere? 58 allies on the field. Hold on, I'm struggling. I could have played a couple more uh, games of Operation before jumping into this. And you know what? I didn't think that my uh, nails were going to be causing me this much of an annoyance today either. For those of you that ask how do I do things with my nails, apparently today, not very well. So before, this was not sitting down my plate here wouldn't sit down on my machine. I know. Dis, you didn't try to force it down? I know that there are some things where, yes, a little bit of force is, is good for it. This wouldn't have been one of those. Now, sewing like that and stopping it? Sure. How I'm going to end up wrapping my twill cord? Twill, twill uh, straps? Oh yeah, there's gonna be so much force. However, I, I gotta be careful with some things. I'm just going to double check that uh, the bobbin is good to go. We're going to thread him just like we normally would. We will uh, drop the bobbin in the lowest spot. Help me uh, thread. We'll work smarter, not harder this time around. Put, put those in there and they came in handy. I am going to pull a significant amount of the bobbin through, like you're supposed to. Cap it. Turn it on, Tweep. I turned it off. Turned it back on. Per your suggestion. All right. The moment of truth. Let's do this. Lock and load. Now are we in the right? Okay. <laughs> See, I told you if it. Well, <laughs> What need, I think uh, my bobbin area needed to be cleaned out because she she accepted the fabric with a lot more vigor this time around. Um, righteous. I'm going to cut off the extra because can't go back now. I guess if I cut off the extra then in fact I can't go back now. You know it's probably my issue too? I probably could use a new uh, needle, which we'll put a new needle on there before we do anything else, um, sewing-wise. They say every eight hours you should change your needle. All right. If we 
fold this in half now. And I lay this out. And I steal this off of my mannequin. I fold it at our halfway point. Ah! Perfect. We are perfect. So now I can do the Stream Raiders battle. And I can take that break that I wanted to take a half hour ago. Um, I didn't think that we were going to get into a whole entire cluster, you know what, with the sewing machine not working um, for a minute. So I'm like, no, wasn't expecting all that. Wasn't expecting all that. So let's put this uh, wonderful duster <laughs> off to the side. We're going to turn you off. Let you rest for a second. There's just dust everywhere after that. I'm going to put you... Oh, I shouldn't put you on top of that. We're going to put you over here for now. Just too much stuff. All right. Stream Raiders. Well, let's do this. Oh, there's there's even thread inside my shoes. See, I told you I could fix it as long as it... Turn it off. Turn it back on. <laughs> oh. All right, Raiders. Let's dive into a, our uh, next Stream Raiders battle. Thank you kindly for waiting. I was in the bouts of trying to fix technology. Hmm. <sighs> We have 58 allies on the field right now for a Lost in the Bagwood. Lost in the Bagwood. Let's do... Let's do some melee advances. Let's do... You got this. Go team, go. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, I do want to say hello and welcome. I am Disfusional. My friends call me Dis. Please free to do so as well. I'm an ultra widescreen gamer, Warframe content creator, artist, and cosplay. Er, cosplay er, costume engineer seems like today's task title. Feel free to click on my link tree link in chat. You'll also find in there that all month long we have been teaming up with Digital Extremes and Warframe in the Quest to Conquer Cancer, fundraising for the Princess Marguerite Cancer Foundation. This is our last week. Of fundraising. It's the last week in October. Yeah. Time flies. Where did October go? I, I mean, I know where all the skin cells from my October went. Um, <laughs> but wow. Choo choo. All aboard the Cosplay Express. Right. That's what I'm. It's, uh, we are. We literally are full charge ahead. We, we're full steam ahead. Sorry. We uh, don't have time to stop gotta keep going except for I, I do have to use hi Des. just dropping in for a few minutes and looks like you're having fun Katai we are we had a we had to fix the sewing machine we are working on some some bum we've got the ruffles already sewn in there we pulled all the pieces for mad moxie we are working 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 Thomas 20 kills 19 assists take the Z gold and then we get to randomly grant Greg 50 gold and Fudge 2 Berserker Scrolls. Our Monday has tried to challenge us. It's been doing a great job. Oh, we're going to squiggle on down here. That way we can hit the, the uh, second loyalty chest. I didn't think we were going to be. I didn't know it was going to give us a little boop. Boop down to the next row. Let's accept it. I am going to place. I think I got a. Let's do, for this three skull, I'm going to place down a healer again. And let's do it over here. This didn't go well my last time. So let's see if I uh, can heal you guys better this time around. I need to level up my healer as well as... There's quite a few, actually. Let's see. Oh, I can specialize my paladin! Oh my goodness. Okay. Champion Paladine, a specialized armor unit that grants a 40% healing boost to nearby allies. Oh, that's a good one. A specialized armor unit that deals an extra 30... Okay, eh. Specialized armor unit that with 40% more defense and 20% less damage. We're going to go with the champion, obviously. Okay, so we have 
<gasps> the Buster Scroll is what I need to. I know. Don't don't look at all the guys that need me to upgrade them. They just want so much money. Two hundred. That's three right there. Four. Five. Oh my gosh, six. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of of gold needed to upgrade. I guess I should do my Templar though, right? What did that... Oh, well, let's collect. Get 10 units to level 20. I'm so close. I got nine. So close. Get 15 units to level 20. Oh my goodness. What does that say? Get a unit to level 30. Oh, gross. Gross, gross, gross. Fine, tank. Enjoy. Oh man, they want oh we're gonna be upgrading quite a bit. I don't ha I don't have the guts. Okay. Alright, Raiders, at this moment in chat, I am gonna take like a five minute break. We have uh, been streaming for three hours, no break yet. I uh, need to use the ladies' room, grab a snack. When we come back, we are gonna be doing some ironing. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to heat up the iron, that way she's good to go. When we uh, make our return, I'm literally doing a uh, child's like bathroom dance on this one. All right, rocking. I've got, yeah, I've, I've got the bias tape. We've got our cover. Let's sit back down. That way I can find the mouse. I will see you guys in just a couple minutes. Fix your battle plans. Oh, oh, thank you. Sorry, 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 sorry. My bad. My bad. I didn't mean that. You guys all look great. Thank you, Cinemius. I failed. That's uh, I failed at life. May want to change battle plans. Currently says don't go here and should maybe be free spaces. Don't sit with me. Is pretty much what I was saying there. Thank you for the heads up. My bad. You guys all rock. I suck. Dropping my socials. I will see you guys in just a little bit. I'm gonna take a quick break. Oh my goodness.
kind of warm and cozy. It smells like a heated up iron up here. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> I did grab some apple pieces as well as a Red Bull. Hmm. Ah. I also was answering comments on my Instagram for that last photo. I gotta say, I really like it when people don't read the caption and go, she should really show this live. Hey, the whole damn thing live. <laughs> it distracts Puck and Stitch with the infamous red dot. <laughs> now, Puck knows all about the secret of red dot. I don't think... Or, sorry, Stitch knows all about the red dot. I don't think Puck does. All right, let's see if we can do this without ruining the print on the other side. So we are going to turn this down just a bit. When I iron sections, I'm going to make sure that no matter what, my uh, iron is not touching the fabric directly trust no one and I shouldn't need too much since it is one ply this stitches needs to change that oh puck this is the light everything the light touches we F up <laughs> uh. puck's currently working on how to get over his fear of the furnace Every single time the furnace turns on, he uh, freaks out and runs and hides. <laughs> ah, the thing that brings us warmth is scary, Mom! And I am going to iron in this direction. Just a personal preference, meaning everything's going to go off that side, right? Yeah, okay. Let me find So we're just going to then feed I like to just kind of shove a triangle through And I am going to Pull it out the other end I'll hold on to this. Now what I need to do is I need to straighten it up. It is a uh, one inch, or two inch, sorry, it is a two inch. Um, this is going to be how we sandwich our ply. It was going to go between this, betweenst. Like a crazy lady. So I am going to carefully <laughs> pin down. Wow, you're not sharp. That was silly. The top of this. down the other side. Okay, so that needs to be... There, 
There's one. There's two, and then I just make sure. Yep, we're good. Now because I made my strapping a little bit wider than I was supposed to, it's not going to be as clean, but we're not we're only doing like 80 some inches, like 90 inches. It's it's gonna it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So we're just gonna have to be a little bit more patient as we lay this out to iron. But still this way is going to save us some time. Or so I, I claim. But I'll stay in its right position. And you can go up over on that side, but you can't on this side. Well, that's a conundrum, don't you know? So I've got one chunk laid down. I'm going to keep my hand there and then just slowly uh, always I want to keep the the iron moving with this stuff. Um, I don't want it to get too hot. And what I'm going to do to prevent it from unraveling because I'm not putting too much heat on it since it's got paint all over it. I'm gonna put little clips on it. It'll also act as a counterweight to assist me with pulling it down on the other end. Salazar, hello, hello. Oh, I am a crazy cat lady. I'm one husband, husband away from being a crazy cat lady. <laughs> Since I'm standing right now, the least I can do is just move the, the cam a bit. Just move it a bit. And we will get the next chunk ready to go. See, it doesn't want to... This side just doesn't want to fold it over. I might have to cut away at the top a bit. Overlap them just a bit. And apply some heat. Little chunks at a time, but this is what uh, this is needed. This is needed. See, we're almost halfway. Not a problem at all. <laughs> Just gonna put a couple clips here and there to assist with making sure everything stays where it's supposed to. make sure that when I get to the seam, it lays down flat. <laughs> Let's just scoot this all the way back up to the top. That way I'm not bound. I guess I don't need to deal with that just yet.
I feel like Scooter half of the time, IRL. <laughs> uh, you just got a hot mom that everybody wants? <laughs> Working on it, you're... Uh... Badonka donk, sorry, Salazar, yes! Yes, I'm working on that uh, dishalicious waistline and uh, hips and ass that I just don't have. <laughs> you know what they say. If you don't have it, make it. They don't say that. They don't say that at all. <laughs> or maybe they do. Tee hee 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 hee. So this, you are not proving to be of use right now. And I'm a little bit disappointed in you. All right, let's. Just trying to make our own double fold bias tape with our uh, printed fabric here. I don't want to put too many pins, if any, into it. So we're just carefully working, working on fiber. I appreciate you all keeping me company as I scramble to get this done, or this done in time. Oh, as I scramble to get this done in time. Oh my goodness. When you start using your name as a word, like a, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. I'm going to eat a piece of apple. So what are you guys doing right now? Anybody eating the lunch? If so, what's on the menu today? Watching you, obviously. Oh, Super Hoover. See, and, and I know that sometimes, like, ugh, to watch... Sometimes listening is... <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching me. Just clipping some monster clips haphazardly on my project. Removing it from there. I'm making something, I swear. Eventually all these folds and sews and whatnot will accumulate to something tangible that we can... Not Tanjiro, but tangible Tanjiro <laughs> falling off my neck don't have time for that And I can feel it sticking too, so like I am running my hand along the back to peel my design off of the cotton fabric. So close! than I had anticipated down here. Hm. Okay. <laughs> I 
I'm excited this weekend to see what everybody's been working on. I know uh, some projects have been uh, under construction for a couple of years now, right? Over a year. I'm excited to see uh, what other cosplayers are gonna be wearing out this weekend. Again, high of 43 today. I at least know that I will not be sweating this year in Moxie. Fingers crossed. This uh, little nubbin was pinned down, so I didn't get to iron it. Now I did. Now, what I normally would do is I normally would fold this in half and iron it again. But because we're going to be encasing twill, uh, twill tape with it, I am not going to, to do that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to find the center of this again. Like the exact center. I'm going to put a pin into the center. Then I'm going to walk away and blow my nose. <laughs> Just uh, over here works fine for me. <laughs> so many names over here. Jobali, Widescreen John, Gravity, Jeff will try. Marcus, Ashman, a bunch of Jobali, what is this, Zero, another Marcus, crazy, now let's find the center of this, how does one do that, I'm going to pin these ends, just fold her in half, because I'm lazy, I hit it with some iron, and then I realized that I didn't put the paint all over it, so. There, just iron that one down. Okay, we're gonna unplug the iron now, because that just seems safe. Just seems like the safe thing to do. Ironing board out. Let's do this. How often do we get a, a good, a nice timely uh, for a battle? Not often. All right, Raiders, we've got 62 allies on the field this time around. I'm going to drop Killing Field right out here. Go, team, go. Take them on. now going to uh, clip in the twill tape to one whole side of this. Alright, 
victory. I think that deserves me to crack open the beer for a Red Bull. I had a, a Red Bull Zero. It was two for one this uh, weekend at the local, uh, I don't know, is that a local, local gas station? Because there's so many of them. Lentia, Lentia, four kills, 22 assists. Let's give you... This one's cool. I think it's the ones that I need as well. So there's a little bit of selfishness when I send that your way. And then randomly glaring Jeff and Joe Monkey, the others. Loyalty chest! Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready! Dropping... A buster to bust open that level 20 hut there and we will place you do what you believe is best battlefield wise what plans I don't even know what plans it says that is but I just oh no it went away just as quick as it came I uh, may or may not have clicked the X on that I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. Battle's still there, though, even though I've lost my marbles. Let's head over to... I see. I think the store's got new squirrels. We need these ones. I need the buster squirrels. But at that point, I feel like I should also just be collecting and the tank ones. And those ones. Man, too many. The tiny thimble buster! Oh, a thimble! The tiny thimble buster is what I need to upgrade next. Hold on, what's the next one? Possessed vampire skin. Well, huh? Deal. Oh my goodness, the diamond costume berserker skin. Okay, I know where I'm striving for. I don't know if we'll get there, but it's good to have goals. Let's head back on over to the art screen. I do want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I know, uh... It's, it's been a day. I have haphazardly... I've, the sewing machine uh, doing its thing kind of got to me a little bit. Uh, I just I plan things out, and when things don't go according to plan, it's just... <laughs> Ooh. Right now, I am hiding my twill. Oh, shoot. You're right. Take... Fudge! Not... Not the... <laughs> I need to keep taking progress photos of this, and so, uh... I need to show that I am... hiding twill tape for my waistband. You don't need to be in this. This is not an advertisement for Red Bull, nor for Apple's. So I will uh, strategically take some photos with my hand as well, that way they can see. Sometimes you just have to use parts of your body to assist with holding the camera straight. Okay, Ty, thank you so much for that uh, lurk. I hope your Monday is going well. And this should go all the way to the nubbin of an end. Yeah! At least my measuring worked out. At least my math was on the right path. So 
I keep putting my elbow down, that way I can make sure that I'm pulling both layers as, uh, as taut and as even and as smooth as possible. I think on an angle just to be fancy. Let's clip in the side now. Oh, there's a little bit more room on this side. We'll shut the front door. Okay, so hold on. We're going to have to adjust everything now. Don't judge me. <laughs> Hiya, hello, Villains Boulevard. Hello, hello. I, uh, doing a little con crunch here. We've got Yomacon coming up this weekend in Detroit, Michigan, and I am not done. <laughs> so I am working on encasing my twill tape and double fold biased uh, tape that I've handmade because we printed on our brown fabric with a slightly darker brown pattern. Uh, I'm not sure if you can it anywhere in the light uh, but we're gonna be working this is our waistband for my bum and hip rolls because I do not have the vivacious body that Moxie does and we've known this because we tried it on and did some walking strutting around strutting around and uh, so when in doubt we're gonna build it making some bum and hip rolls trying to make sure so I did not find well I actually didn't look didn't look uh, twill tape in the dark brown that we have so I just like her neck where I encased her necklace where I encased the cord in this in like a black nylon sleeve actually it was 100% cotton too why do I have a problem with cotton with this whole entire project Oh, thank you so much for that follow. We are working toward a uh, a goal. Ah, see, I, I gotta. Eventually, I'll end stream, and then I'll be able to put up what we're we're doing for for Monday for the birthday party stream. But we are working toward a 5k goal. The community wants my uh, gyoza recipe, so when we hit 5k follows, we uh, we'll do a cooking stream. And I will show you guys start to finish how I even store them for up to three months at a time. Not that they even make it past the first month, because yum. Should change the name of the stream to Mad Moxie's Butt and see how many viewers drop in. Uh, I will do that only if the rest of the chat's down for it. Um... I I don't want to get too weird. Well, I guess uh, you guys all know that I'm weird. Mad Moxie's butt. Okay. Instead of con crunch. Mad Moxie's butt. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> see how many people randomly jump in there and be like, "What are you?" The butt. Just point over my shoulder. The, the derriere. So I'm gonna unclip everything that we just clipped in on the right side. As we. Uh... Yeah. Oh my gosh! I feel it. Hold up. Why do we have so much now on this side? What's happening?
Okay. Mad Moxie is a baddie, and there's so <laughs> many. <sim> <laughs> I mean. When villains, when when the husband gives you the idea, I guess that means just do it, right? Okay. The husband gives you the idea. You gotta you gotta love Moxie. You gotta love her. She makes me feel like, alright, oh, an age appropriate, like busty lass. She's just so saucy, I can be spicy, I can Say, okay, well, I mean, like, within reason. Say what I want with the, within reason. Um, you know, you don't have to be... Yeah, no, I, I just like, I like her. I enjoy her quite a bit. We've This is the second Mad Moxie cosplay, third Mad Moxie cosplay. We've done two versions of her B uh, Borderlands 2 purple dress. We did one in dress form and then one in swimsuit form and you can actually find all of those photos and more on my socials i will say though be careful because if you click on instagram we've been really creepy this past week and uh, last week we did some horror looks there's a lot of latex and uh, fake blood in the last three posts that we did oh and out of context that sounded saucy too <laughs> By latex, we mean liquid latex. <laughs> Alright, so now I've encased. You can see that white line. That is my twill tape. Double fold bias set means it's literally double folded. So now I am going to match my seams up. And we are going to in case this guy pretty much hey oh do i want to no i'm gonna try to do it all in one go because why why make life easy and if this well that so i will be oh i should iron this Mm -hmm. That way I don't have to worry about it and it'll stay so crisp and so clean, clean. I'm just folding that empty side over onto the side that's got the twill tape. Just making sure that the already pressed edges are done. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm glad that we did this and I didn't just uh, just dye the fabric or uh, any other weird things I could have done. Any amount of other weird I things I could have done. The number is... <laughs> uh, if you're just stopping in, we are working on Mad Moxie's bum and hip rolls for our cosplay contest. Uh... B3 Moxie is going to be hitting the stage this Saturday. And we're going to give her some vivacious bum and hips. I want people, when they see me after 20-some years, to be like, Damn, dis, you got thick! And then just be like, <laughs> psych. So that is my goal. That is my goal. I want people to... Uh, be like, girl, when you've been sitting down just playing video games, you got yourself a, a as Jeff will try, a dump truck. <laughs> Goals. Thank you for that hydrate. No, but in actuality, when I was wearing all of her pieces together, the weight from the belt, as well as all of the extras. Oh, you're not laying down flat. Ended up squishing down my bum and my hips. So, to combat that, to make it so that she still looks curvy, and not that I have to do like something weird where I'm sticking one foot out weird to make it look like the hip. Mm -mm. Smarter, not harder. 
Smarter, not harder. So this is the waistband that I am making. your first time stopping by the channel hello and welcome i am disfusional my friends call me dis please feel free to do so as well i'm an ultra widescreen gamer warframe content creator artist cosplayer we're just having a good time hope you guys are enjoying your monday if you have not already i uh, implore you click on that follow button for us here on twitch assist us with our 5k follow goal i do appreciate all of you uh, lurking Silently watching, silently judging. Working toward Twitch partner, 75 average views. Some days, uh, it seems to be a little bit more further out of reach than others. <laughs> All right, and did I clip down the other side? I did, so let's do that same thing. Oh, I just left it, like, like, a, little, like a little noodle. Hmm. I should. That's going to be the cleanest way to do this. What I am going to do is I am going to fold the bottom section inside out, stitch it, fold it right side out, and then stitch them all together. It sounds ridiculous because it kind of is, but that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to double clip down here so that I don't go any further than need be. Um, yep. <sighs> okay. So what I mean by that, I am going to, so what I did was I put that in my mouth so I can make the impression of where the twill ends. I am going to stitch. Just jam myself with that. And so that this doesn't move, I'm just going to clip it. F it. And that's how we solve that problem. Do the same thing to this side. I'm going to turn it inside out. Match up my ends. And then I am going to take a pin just like to that side. Now I'm going to run these through my sewing machine. Fingers crossed she's not acting up this time around. You will see me just throw pins. Uh, I do have magnets on here, so it'll collect on either side of my Tupperware lid. I'm going to drop that needle into my project. Pull the back end needles because it is a small piece that we are stitching. And let's back this up as fast as possible. Beautiful. And we'll pull it up. Snip our threads. And at this time too, I'm going to trim off any extras that we don't need from that. Let's do this side now. It's a little difficult, but we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Should I just do it this way? I probably should. And I'm going to back up to the whole thing again. So this is an automated sewing machine. Um, like, I, or a digital sewing. I just, I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. I turn it off, I turn it back on. It's going to be a completely different, all reset. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these right side out. 
and it is going to enclose that edge for me. Now if I did it neat enough, I will be able to fold these ends in on an angle. Oh, might have snipped the uh, thread too close. it down here. Oh, that looks so gorgeous. Oh! Um. Cinemius? Um. Oh, okay. I'm gonna just say that that's what happened. Holy cannoli. Um. Yeah, that, that's exactly what happened. Okay, I'm not sure why that decided to go all of a sudden, but that was, oh my gosh, the creepiest and weirdest thing. So, I'm still trying to uh, learn the effed up sounds of this house. There's still some sounds that really can throw you. Um, so what I just experienced that really caught me off guard, um, I, need a, I need a sip. So, Sinemius, I'm not sure if you can hear me. You know where I keep that wonderful crate that I travel with? On top of it, uh, there are some trays and some random items that I need to put away from last week. And I just haven't put them away. It's been a lot. It's... I'm exhausted. <laughs> and so, I heard what sounded like a animal having made its way into that cupboard that's behind that crate. It sounded like something was scuttling, scurrying, scampering about. Really, all it was is apparently uh, two of my paint bottles had rolled down the tray and then rolled across that. And uh, the rolling of the plastic across the wood, that's what sounded that. Oh my gosh, so weird. So, didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. I'm sure my facial expressions were like, what is going on? Um, huh. Huh. I thought there was going to be like squirrels or something that we were in. I'd be like, both the cats are coming upstairs right now to take care of this for me. <laughs> Pop, do you want to take down your first squirrel? Squirrel in the house. Squirrel in the house not have been okay with that. So now that I've got those edges sewn, I'm just going to make sure that everything is good to go for ironing. I am smoothing everything out for the umpteenth time. Everything's evenly spaced and happy. <laughs> Making sure my twill tape's happy. Inside. Have you ever got a needle in your finger? I have. Uh, yes, I have put a needle through my finger. Luckily, I have so much dead skin around my fingers. <laughs> Luckily. That uh, when, when it went through my finger, it just went through a bunch of dead skin. It didn't really uh, do too much. I was always, when I worked uh, in that that uh, warehouse and I was doing industrial sewing machines for car hauler ratchet straps, I thought for sure I was going to put, because you literally have to throw the whole machine in reverse. And it's, it's like, so 
you're pushing on one pedal to go forward. There is a lever and a second pedal that you have to literally throw the machine into reverse and have it go backwards and then unthrow it into reverse to go forward. And when you're doing like an OSHA zigzag back and forth, oh my goodness. You would hear an animal. I thought I heard them run like scampering in there. It, it, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> didn't like it at all. literally just going to sew it and then feed it all the way in there. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take this off. I bit my lip the inside of my lip with that last piece of apple. Hmm. Maybe those posts are coming together for real. <coughs> now we're going to do our 5 eighths inch, 5 eighths of an inch stitch all the way around this thing. This is Moxie's bum. It may not look like it, but I assure you it is. down. I'm going to actually do a couple back stitches over this. I don't want to have to do it at the end, but I have a feeling I just snagged it. All those go out to the side here. Alright, so now we're starting to... Uh, mount the ruffles. I don't know how to... I'm trying to make sure that I'm pushing down on the layers as I am running them through my machine. I do have my needle uh, in a down motion. That way when I stop, it's automatically stopping inside the project. Um, that way it, I can give it a little resituating and keep going. I am following the marker on my sewing machine the best that I can. Make sure that all of the uh, threads are on this side, and they are. Yay!
just crunching through those, aren't you, sewing machine? You keep at it. The first scallop we've sewn around. Whew, all right. 12 seconds left. I'm not going to be able to finish this sewing in 12 seconds. So hold on, raiders. We will uh, give me a couple extra seconds here, minutes. Almost done with the middle scallop. Thank you kindly for waiting on me, Raiders. I uh, just don't want to mess it up. I'm going as fast as I can. I was all kinds of ready to face Monday head on at the start of today. I was wrong. I now want to duck or to hide in with some panic medication. <laughs> uh, uh, Sturbatu, music name, Stream Beats. Stream Beats. And then we created a 10 hour uh, playlist with all their songs, so. here. It's been fun, Ruffles. I'm so over you now. Till after this uh, Stream Raiders battle to turn it right side out. But I will uh, snip. I will drop my sharp, sharp scissors toward the direction of my feet. Alright, Raiders. Now play. I'm sorry. It's 
some panic medication. I'm sorry, Jeff. It's Monday. It must be this Monday. It must be that fall Monday. It's just really often with us all today. I'm not sure what the temperature is where you're at, but it is chilly here. So chilly that I'm actually going to uh, put this back on. Which means that the furnace will probably kick on because my luck is usually when I put uh, like this this coat on, I'm like, oh, the furnace is on now. Didn't need it. Hmm. I'm just looking at the uh, stitch line on the inside. Gosh, that went that looks real good. Okay. And stream raiders, we have our loyalty chest fight and let's see here i am going to place high ground because i have a feeling we're going to be fighting all right raiders do your worst and while that happens i am going to set up for the anticipatory action of ironing because there is something to be said about a nice crisp line and again, if I am going to go through all this work, I might as well do it correct. Iron it where it needs to be ironed. And I'm actually, I think I'm going to leave the clips on the one side because I only need to iron the back side of this that doesn't have any clips on it. So let's see if I can carefully accomplish that. This then will get stuck to this. However, oh, um, where, oh, where? Now I know that I put some of my batting that direction. Oh my gosh, it's freaking freezing in here. Holy bejesus. Holy leaving. Nope. Oh my gosh, it's like the Arctic next door. That's how it feels like outside? I'm not going. Nope. I refuse to go outside. So next to my nice and cozy art room is a like unfinished side room. Oh my gosh, it was chilly in there. Ooh. Opening the captain's chest as I'm shivering. 200 gold goes to widescreen John for the 17 kills and 19 assists. I'm freezing after stepping put into that room. I was like, oh, maybe there's some batting in here. Or not batting, there was batting. I was like, maybe there's some stuffing in here. And no, I think I left all the stuffing out here. And then we're going to randomly grant Funge and Joe Monkey. We're gonna jump into another chest, gold loyalty chest. And I am going to toss out, don't know. <laughs> Do I need anything for my quests? Five healers, I've only got two. Oh, okay. I'm going to place a healer out because I suck at placing healers. All right, Raiders, lay down those units. Do we have only... We do only have a couple left. Oh, we, we stream tomorrow. We can start another, another map with haste. All right, so that's heating up. I have to quickly use the restroom. My bladder is just... So pardon me, I'm going to, I'll be real quick, real, real, real super quick. Here, check out my socials in the meantime. Have fun, you can you can judge me, get creeped out by uh, my last post, but I'll be real quick, I just gotta, I gotta run. <laughs>
Alright, I'm back. I just... Whew, that had to happen. So I am now just going to quickly sandwich this uh, waistband between betweenst some cotton fabric and I am going to just iron that down a bit. Help making it crisp. Not trying to iron the clips, literally running it along the opposite side of them. Ugh. It is. Come the F on, Iron. I am about ready to yeet you off this table. I can't even. You need to just stop. are here. That works. Oh, I'm gonna need this again. Not bad. Let's open up and turn right side out. Oh, I can't wait. This is gonna be so cute. Oh, so precious. I do see where we've got a little bit of puckering around our corners over here. So what I am going to do, I am going to uh, cut into it. <laughs> and what that is, is it's just not the fabric not being able to uh, separate any further. So I'm going to help you. And then what I do so that it does not fray out past war... Okay! Fine. Super Hoover. Hello, hello. <laughs> Well, I, um, didn't anticipate this. I need pliers of some drastic measure. Hmm. Well, this will go into the trash. Um... Where did the ball that I pulled off of it, did I put it? There it is. That'll go into the trash, too. And we'll just... We're just gonna... Pardon me, just, um... Nope, nope, nope! Nope, nope, nope!
Fry check down. And it's just a precaution. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like night and day. Wow, like night and day. Huh. A little snip snip. I was gonna iron this down, but a part of me is thinking that maybe I shouldn't, and here's why. It just kind of adds to the, the poof. What I do need to do. Turn these up on the corners. Just pull on everything, real taut. <laughs> A part of me wants to stitch around the sides here, but no, don't do that. I do need to stitch from here going up um, because there are actually three pockets that will stem from this. Like three, three chambers in which to stuff, if you will. Who is Stitches? Uh, Stitches is my cat. <laughs> he, uh, because we've got the iron and all that, Stitches and Puck are my cats. But they are downstairs right now. Uh, Puck just can't control himself around life. Um, so <laughs> that kitten, you guys will see him tomorrow. Stitches was up here though for a good chunk of time. Walking into that room made my nose run. I'm gonna do that old lady thing where we like dab our nose then we take the tissue and we fold it up and like put it in our back pocket for a later use. Oh wait, there's already a tissue in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're gonna throw the old one out. <laughs> oh, we're already at that stage in life, aren't we? All right, I will not need the ironing board anymore. Working on Mad Moxie's bum and hip rolls. Tigaika, hello, hello. Welcome. Hope your day's been well. And just for the sake of having to keep going and getting it, we're just gonna lean it up against the side. I'm going to pin all the way around the waistline here. And then I'm going to have to figure out where I am going to be stitching the lines for, because there will be lines that stitch off from these points here and here. Trying to make sure though that the waistband hits the right part. We want both of the pieces of fabric to start and stop at the same area. I am, I do know I need to take a photo of this before I continue. And then when we finish it, what I'm going to do is I will take photos of it on the dress stand uh, downstairs in front of like a white wall. My day is great. Hope yours too. What, uh, what we being crafted today. So we are working on Mad Moxie's butt and hips. Here's my butt. It's just not a big enough butt. Um, it's lacking in the hind and hip areas. So we are going to be making a, a pad that will cover up, add some stuff in when we're lacking. <laughs> what? I kind of miss what you said. Uh, what games do you stream? I like to stream Warframe. I'm a Warframe content creator. So like tomorrow when we do our uh, Pennywise and it body paint. I will then be streaming Warframe for like four, three, four hours afterwards. I have 75 platinum to give away to everybody. Friendly reminder too that this week is the last week uh, to keep fundraising for Quest to Conquer Cancer. 
Thursday's stream will mark the last stream, the last fundraising stream. When we hit $1,250 raised, I will do a $250 platinum giveaway. After Thursday's stream, I will be submitting all of the platinum and Quest to Conquer Cancer information to DE. You can expect to find uh, winners of the Initiate and Nidus Prime, as well as all the platinum. Those should start rolling out into your inboxes the first week in November sometime. It, when I find out, if they tell us more information, I'll let you know, but yeah. Okay, where is my pattern that I have over here? I made, where'd you go? There you are. My, my here, where's my half-ass pattern? Here it is, get it, because it's just half of a butt. No? Okay, I thought it was funny. You don't have to think so. I am going to put... I'm just going to wing it. Yeah, okay. So my pencil... Pink pencil, where'd you go? I need to draw on you, and I know I did not find your cap anytime soon. I must have used you and then put you somewhere where I thought was a great location that you can't get lost. <laughs> ah, oh, found it in my hand. I still don't know where your cap is. I mean, a little bit concerning, but not really. Since you are just a pencil. Just sharpening my marker that way. If you would like to learn more about our uh, quest to conquer cancer, as well as milestones, my fundraising dono link, you can find all of that in my link tree link that Jeff so kindly placed into chat for us. So I think, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And we're just going to uh, draw a line and start sewing. What's <laughs> the worst thing that can happen besides everything? Now, how do we make sure that we get the exact same line on the other side? No freaking clue, so if anybody knows, let me know. <laughs> Just going to, uh, hotball it like I did the other side. <laughs> oh, man. And then I just, uh, make a little dot here. And that's completely off. Well, interesting. Oh, so is that one, considering that here's where my center spots are. Well, that's different. Okay, okay, no, that's fine. lines you draw on a project the better right right measure twice stitch the damn thing once <laughs> oh and i'm gonna stop it there and i'm gonna stop it there okay well i'm gonna start it there so let's just be real this one see don't there's line it's supposed to be lines Since today is already turning out to be one of those Mondays, I know that I need to move anything hazardous just out of the way. Even if it's just onto the floor next to me, like just just get it out of the way. We're having one of those days. 
one of those days. Just gonna put some things away for once. Hey, look it! Speaking of mice, I found another one! Oh, this one's for my... Well, I like that mouse. That mouse is a fancy mouse. Ah, top stitching. Okay. So for top stitching this, I am going to toss in some pins. Because I don't want to mess this up. And I'm going to stitch, I'm going to plan to stitch right over top of these pins. This isn't that bad for your machine? Shush! Don't tell me what to do. You don't know me. Actually, a lot of you do. I'm sorry, I'm just so lazy. They want you to stitch over it, I swear. They don't, they don't. They don't, but I'm going to. And then over on this side, I get to pull the which one do I stitch over routine. Beautiful. Am I really just pinning you out a bunch through that other side? Yeah, yeah, let's just, let's just do it. What's the worst thing that could happen? I ripped through the fabric that I've been, like, tch. Needles and run pull, an accident waiting to happen. Slick show? Let me show you a slick show. But, on a positive note, I do know how to get blood out of fabric. A cotton ball, and isopropanol and alcohol. No. Yes. No. Peroxide. Don't listen to what I said the first time around. Prove you wrong. Do I start on this end and then just work my way down? Yeah, let's do that. And drop it in there. And yes, I will let you guys know that my glasses double as a safety glasses. So what I was doing when I was uh, checking this on the other side is I wanted to make sure, since you were going to be able to see my bobbin stitches, that they were as perfect as I could get. So here's my top stitch, no bumps. My bobbin stitch, no bumps. Slick show. I'm not going to say anything until I do the second one because yeah, you know, like you don't want to push my luck. And then I will give you the nana nana boo boo. Drop the needle down again.
patties. I'm a wizard. All right, and again, we are good to go. I didn't feel any hiccups or anything on the other side like I did the first time go. Yeah, she's pretty. She's just so pretty. Such a pretty ass, Moxie. You got such a pretty ass so far. Now it's time to stuff her derriere. So I'm going to remove not all, but some of the pins that I have here on the inside. And grab an apple. So now I'm just stopping a bum. Hope your days are going well. Thanksgiving came early. Hey! <laughs> stopping Med Moxie's ass. it before I uh, stuff her in there. You ever get that feeling that maybe you don't have enough? Because I'm getting that feeling right now. So with that said, I'm going to start stinking it in the sides here too. Isn't it just so cute? Oh my gosh. to put quite a bit in there because what's happening right now with my own derriere is that the weight of her holster and so all of my hardware for Moxie, well, at least everything that's not larger than life, like that Borderlands larger than life style, is uh, metal and nickel in actual. So I need some body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. We had a hot girl summer. Now I need a hot girl winter. <laughs> need Moxie to be able to, uh... Oh. That might be poivic, to be completely honest. <laughs> Let me stop this. Um, I do need to make sure that I got... It's even on both sides, but... Oh, no, not even. Not even. Not even. Brevity is harsh, isn't it? Like, more we age is just taking hold of me. So I'm just kind of stopping, making sure that they feel about the same poofiness. And what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, I have a feeling that's just gonna crush down super, super easy. Um. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the sides. And then we're going to put some of her gear onto the mannequin and test it out. Because the last thing I wanna do is sew the waistband on here with it needing more or needing me to remove some. Why do you still feel like you are significantly firmer? That's better. I 
I'm just going to pin along my surge lines by also making those stitches on top of my little uh, bump pad. It helps with keeping the pattern straight, not getting weird bunching in certain areas. really wish we would have uh so i started off using a pattern for this uh and then i don't know what happened to the pattern i uh i i strayed i strayed drastically it's like the pattern just wasn't it was a good base it was a good understanding i learned what i needed to do but uh wasn't what we were looking for meal plans for tonight Ooh, tonight we're gonna have some chicken and asparagus Anemias, you didn't know that, but tonight we're going to have chicken and asparagus, and I might, if I'm feeling savvy, or if you just want to help me with the potato washing, um, mashed potatoes would be nice. I need something hearty. Yesterday we kind of had a half-assed dinner <laughs> that I would, like, expect to, and it just, for some reason, it just, it didn't fill me up the way I wanted it to, so, uh, tonight's meal. I'm going to hold off on the waistband for right now. Yes. Okay, it might be too much now that I'm looking at it on me. Bam! That's a big butt! <laughs> hold on, I'm just going to pin right into my mannequin. And it might simply be that I need to adjust this so that I can uh, put. Yeah, it might be too full right here. Like this is this might be good here, but these sides I think might be a little too firm. Okay, well this still closes where it's supposed to close, so that's exciting. Yay. Like, no problem. Zipping it closed, we just won't zip it because I'm lazy. Um. I'm not gonna put the leafs in here, we're just going to uh, dress her. And I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this over her without undoing parts of it. Gadzooks. Over the boobs. Come on. There we go. The butt is too big. <laughs> All right, so I do need to take, oh, it looks like the hips though. Okay, so it is just that top section on the hips. Uh -huh -huh -huh. This is gonna go nice. Once we get the uh, desired
once we get the desired firmness, This Warframe content in your panel. Huh? This Warframe content in your panel? I am a Warframe content creator, and we do have the Quest to Conquer Cancer going on this week, Silver Helix. But today, we are uh, con-crunching some Mad Moxie. I am a Warframe content creator, an ultra-widescreen gamer. If that was your inquiry... We do have Platinum to give away tomorrow during our... Uh, what, am, whoa, what, am, what am I kidding you about? <laughs> That's how I feel sometimes when I dress up as Mad Moxie. <laughs> Just a mess. But donk a donk, don't. <laughs> yeah, I just need a, a little bit taken out of the tops here. One side did seem like there was more in it than the other. If I take this much out, maybe? Platinum, like Warframe. Yes! Uh, so I, uh, I do platinum giveaways almost every single stream. That we stream Warframe, at least. <laughs> and so our next Warframe stream will be tomorrow. After I paint myself to look like Pennywise. Are you a PC or council? So I do 75 platinum because I am a Warframe content creator. It is 75 plat for any count, any, any platform. You pick. You tell, well, I mean, whoever wins sends me the info. And then I just send it right along. All right, it is time for stream raiders. Let's get over there. Sorry, I was in the woes of my bum. <laughs> oh, man. And I'm just still pulling fluff out. Worst case scenario, I make myself a nice pillow to sleep with for conventions. All right, Raiders, we have 51 allies on the field for this four skull bog. I feel like it worked out well to do, uh, no. Yes. Those are fives, and that's a 20. There's more guys down there. All right, Raiders, here we go. Let's just see, right? I do know that when we plan, and uh, I will be, after stream today, I'm going to be putting up information in the Discord to uh, kind of poll and see where you guys want. If you want to do a birthday stream, with me on Monday, I would gladly turn that into our 3k, 4k party, do a 12 hour stream. We've got so many giveaways planned. Just a thought. Just a thought. But again, I want your guys' input. If you don't want to do it, then I don't want to do it. <laughs> so those sides really plump out. Let me just take a little bit more out the sides. I do do a lot of PC giveaways too though, so do keep that in mind. Lots of prime frames and prime weapons and... I've got a bunch of boss moves now for some strange reason. I didn't know that those were tradable. My bad. I think this will be perfect and then if I can scrunch it out... Now I feel like this one needs a little bit more. I think this... Everything is so real when you put it on, too, and you've got a belt on! Do 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 No. Don't, don't, don't try twerking with the, uh, the bum rolls on. I got you. Let's open up the... 
50 gold going to Shiv. Shiv, don't spend it all in the same play. And then we're going to random Link Grant, Bawazi, and John... Jeff... Je Why did I... Okay, selective reading. And the widescreen John. I was like, John will try. Jeff will will widescreen. And I'm like, no, neither of those are correct. <laughs> Do you know no empathy? <laughs> I have no empathy. I can't wait for crossplay. I can't wait for crossplay. Yeah, so all month long, we have teamed up with Warframe and Digital Extremes and the Quest to Conquer Cancer, fundraising for the Princess Marguerite Cancer Foundation. We have $1,065 raised, 69. Puck thought he was funny, right? Right? Because that wasn't... That wasn't, uh... Ophidian. That was definitely... That was definitely... Oh, no, hold on. Yeah, definitely Ophidian. It wasn't Ophidian. It was Puck that sent in that, uh... That 69... Amount to get there, huh? When we hit 1,250, I will be doing a 250 Platinum giveaway as well. All month long, we have been rocking some wild... Wild... SFX, body paint, and makeup looks, and then playing a bunch of Warframe. Typically, we just do an SFX look a month, but you know what it's stream? It's Screamtober? Streamtober? Goretober? Was kind of what it was last week. We do it all for the fundraising. So if you would like to oh, toss uh, well, learn more about the quest to conquer cancer, first and foremost, and then if you have it in your means to donate... There's our donation link. Oh, nope, that's not. That's just a donate one. There's our donation link. Nope, nope, just can't spell. Let's, okay. So, uh, we can do that. I'm gonna get this. <laughs> oh, man. Currency has a special substance in Cancer. Many celebrities would agree. Uh, currency is fantastic. So, I was letting people know, too. Uh, I had some family members that were excited to donate. And uh, I am a U.S. individual, a U.S. tenno. So, they were... Obvious, they were making their donations in U.S. and they're like, "It." I go, "Yeah." I go, "Cause it's London, Ontario." They're like, "Oh." I go, "So technically, you just gave more money than you thought you were going to." <laughs> Let's pin this up and stick it back. So again, huge thank you to those of you that are able to donate to this wonderful cause. Huge thank you to those that have been lurking in the stream all month long. We appreciate you. Very much so. We had a lot of fun on October 12th with our daughter cosplay. And then we did a, a Vala Glarios. A little uh, Nata inspired by Debbie Sheen. We have been having a blast with the Warframe community. And I appreciate you all. You know it, dog. <laughs> All right, let's stick one more here, and then I think I'm going to try to squish these out just a little bit. Like how they would be having been worn for a minute. And then we're going to pin it back up. I think I can do one, two, three, four, five pins. Should do the trick. We're going to pin it... I dropped a pin. Mm. I'm just pinning it to my dress form for a uh, trial. Potentially error. <laughs> so we did add significantly less fluff as I hug my derriere. We'll put 
the how? Oh, I just took that pin to the thumb. Mm, that hurt. Okay, we're fine. It's fine. It's fine. So as long as you fit on correctly, doesn't matter. Okay. So, uh, awkwardly, I am dressing Sid right now. <laughs> I like, I like it. I don't like that I'm still left us on the stream reader screen, but... You know, now you're going to be saying it to fly. <laughs> it's too no, I don't think so. I don't think so. There we go. It's just hard to... Uh... It actually might need to uh, go down lower. <laughs> My little uh, panel on the inside. Pull this down here. And... Let's do it up. I don't think it is too much. I don't think it is. And just we're gonna we're gonna uh, go a couple further with the over. Under. Oh, this is gonna be right. If it goes under, then it's gonna go over. It's so, like all of these eyelets are actual nickel. Um, I am rough with my costumes, and so the last thing I want is something to bust on me. So I have reinforced everything. That way, Sinemius can just crank me into this. <laughs> oh, I gotta go up top. Yeah, I think, I think, I think that's. Uh, I'm gonna still put on some of the belts because the belts are what squish any body voluptuousness that I possess on a normal day. I say, I, I, I. So we'll just tie this into a nice little bow for now. Her straps are tucked in. Oh, well. Clean up some of the foam. So like this is an actual chain. Um, and this is where some of the the like the haft and, and the weight coming from. Hanging out here and chilling for a bit. Got my drops done this week. I'll find out later if I've been lucky. See it and, and I too am like, mmm don't know what I'm gonna get I am and I know that I won't be able to get anything if I don't oh we gotta refresh oh I wonder if it'll be more treats or tricks how many ammo drums do you think you're going to get is what it comes down to so there are still aspects and features of this outfit I need to finish like, that's a finished side, but there are some that are not. 
let's there's that see now that there's hips that doesn't look so strange oh my gosh this is exactly what we need and I put this one on upside down all the time. Nope, I think it goes... I think it goes this way. Maybe? Are there clips? Snaps anywhere? Is this on upside down? What's going on? Is this real life? Hold up. These snap into someone. <laughs> someone. Somewhere. Oh, there they are. Okay. There snaps on this. There's no way those are those snaps, though. I mean, they have to be. I guess they don't have to be. Did you guys ever put a costume together? I wonder what the You did? Because that's where I'm at right now. Right? And I think this one, yeah. Okay, it does. Alright, I give up on that snap. That's one thing that I need to adjust. I'm a little bit of a masochist in that sense. Better to get the disappointment. Well, and so I wait until uh, I log into stream. That way we can all see how either lucky or unlucky I was together. So I get you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I completely didn't refresh after they uh, raided Toxic Toad, so uh, I am still... No, I think this is upside down. Yeah, I think this is upside down. This doesn't look right. No, doesn't look right at all. Hold up. <laughs> what the heck? Have you ever had to look at one of your uh, own photos to figure out how you put your costume together? Oh, hold on. I can do this on my phone quickly. That way it's... Costume coming along nicely. It is! It is! We've just got to, uh... Figure out how it goes together. How did how did this belt go on? Which, which was the direction that it went? Oh! Oh! Hold up. So this belt came over on this side here. This came around here and hooked up to here. D-ring side down. Right? Right. No? No? No, that's right. Okay. And then this gets tucked underneath here. Okay, okay. So I did have that kind of sort of right. And then her belt has like the bag that's here and that's usually where I keep my cell phone at. Um. We will move this over here. I mean, obviously, on a person, we'd be able to cinch it in a little bit more, um, waist-wise, and I wouldn't be sanding so ridiculously, but I think we are good to add the waistband. 
the Mandalorian all this had a cell phone. Well, so she's got this like pouch, and I'm like, do I build a back pouch back here, or do I just cell phone clip it? Now I understand, um, but like the cell phone clip is the the smartest thing. Yes, I do know that there's this holster here, and I have to add uh, like Wednesday. I'm gonna put a little a cap that sits on top of this in foam. Um, we've got all of the bullets. My little, uh... My belt. I look at the pics all the time for reference to me. <laughs> oh, man. And again, here's the hat. I love my hat. So I milled. It's completely lined on the inside. Every single stitch that is not a top stitch is hidden. Unless it is a decorative top stitch. Like, check it. See how much hand sewing is done? Look at that. The only thing that's top stitched down are these. These are actual nickel. And I, uh, you can't see them on the top because they're only done on the inside layer. Oh yeah, no, I have problems. I know it. I know I have problems, but I look damn good. At least my sewing looks good. I don't know about like the actual face and stuff. <laughs> Know about the actual face and stuff. We're gonna try that on Thursday. Um, we've got the boot covers, good to go. Um, there was a couple areas that I wanted to add a little bit more glue to, but other than that, these were good to go. Sewed down as well. I'm. I feel like I should sew. A stitch onto the corner of each of these. We'll see. We'll see if time allows for it. Um, I do know it just needs the glue. I'll put Moxie's shoes on the stand too, so I don't lose those. But yeah, here we here we are. Graffiti gun, right? Ah, uh, so she doesn't have the graffiti gun with this look. She has a uh, more of like a revolver style, but because it's so hot, uh, inside my bag actually will go snacks in a fan. Um, I'm all about uh, functionality and being comfortable. My inside leafs. In case you guys uh, did not know, they're done the exact same way that I did our uh, infested daughter pod off to the side here. Oh yeah, see, some of you guys that are new to the channel might uh, recognize it from the daughter Warframe raid stream, right? Some of you are like, hold on, you're the purple girl. I'm the purple girl. This is what it looks like when your boobs are put away. Anywho, so this leaflet here, it is embroidered with an L inside the pockets here, if you lift them up, these are actual, so these are shiny nickel, these ones are a matte, like a brushed nickel, those three are snaps, and this will actually slide right on in. And that is how I travel, as well as, and then I can bend them to the shape that I need them in. Showing off? Fuck yes, I'm showing off right now. <laughs> uh, it's not often so like even when I go into judging and I have people judge my costumes they only sometimes see what's right in front of their faces and it kind of it like gets me I'm like ah I did so much work can you not see and they're like oh that's nice and I'm like oh but what about this what about this check out this what about this um so yeah I just just want you guys to see all the fun stuff See all the fun stuff. Again, it's all, if I can make it metal, I made it metal. The chain is metal. The things that I could not make metal are like the larger than life buckle. 
Um, but all these hardware pieces are, are steel. Let's take the hat off because you're just flopping about now. And uh, turn the other way, guys. We're going to undress Sid here. I really like Sid for a doppelganger. I want to ride the pony! And I know that you're not saying like Sid from Toy Story, but that's the Sid that I think of. Oh my gosh, yes. I haven't made popcorn in a while. I don't know what my deal is. I just, I go through like phases of popcorn. You know what it was? I keep forgetting to pick up corn syrup from the grocery store, so I can't make like caramel corn or, or cotton or like a, the popcorn balls. I was wondering why I couldn't get it out. I put a hook, so just like a normal corset, I did do a privacy curtain and it actually just hooks into the backside. Like, look at it, it's so lined, it's so pretty. So pretty. This is what the fabric looked like before I stamped it all. Crazy. Oh, so cool. Nope, 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 okay. Gotta undo it a little bit more. Can't get it up and over the bosom. And again, I will fold the front that way, I am not folding my little uh, petals that I want down there. Speaking of petals, let's just drape this right up there. You're going to go somewhere safe. Just go in the back. Hang out in the back. And I clipped it because I'm lazy. Ow! Oh! Blood! Looks good. Yeah, I'll have some. Right? I just... Oh, man. That's a gusher. I uh, let a pin go right into my finger. You only feel it, like, after you pull your finger out. <sighs> that is the sign to finish this hip and bum skirt up. Just keep throwing all of Moxie's back. Ugh, just go to the back. Go to the back of the line, kid. I called it Red Bull and Needles. No, it's not the Red Bull and Needles. It literally just, it pricked me. It just pricked my finger because what happened was when I went to go take it off, I've got these pins that are haphazard. Some go in this direction, some go in that direction. And when I slid my finger, I caught one of them. So no, I would like to say no, 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 Uh-huh. <laughs> no, see, look at Somebody put these pins going in that direction, and all the other pins going in that direction. I am going to place my pins perpendicular to the placement that I have them now. And I'm going to put a bunch of them. Because now it is time for me to close her up. We've got the allowed amount of stuffing from Moxie's ass. Put it in here. Let's call it what it is. Her voluptuous bum. Which? Ah, oh, I didn't think. This is going to take up a lot of room in a, uh, in a suitcase. More room than some of the other pieces and parts added together. Oh. Luckily, I think for C2E2, we're going to take Moxie and uh, Poison Ivy. Yes, I am going to wear that rinky-dinky, very cold Poison Ivy outfit around in the winter, in the depths of December in Chicago. Yes, I am. And I'm going to have a blast. Um, I haven't thought of what my third cosplay is going to be. I, I, I'm thinking of taking Vala. I've made the comments about taking Vala. I need to get a couple things done on her before she is convention ready. 
We wore her at Astronomicon, and I just... I just wish I had... I need her pants. I need, like, a, a, again, we originally made her with the idea that we were just going to be streaming with her. The world had shut down. What did, what did we know? What was, we didn't know what was going to happen next. Just trying to find that center. Make sure it's where I think it's going to be. It is. It is. It is. Off to the side just a minute. Just a bit. Now let us find the center of this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these clips and I need to flip them over to the other side. Oh, Reason being is I am going to clip this onto Oh, that's plenty. Okay actually flip some of these back over. Need to make sure this is the top? Yes, this is the top. I am going to sandwich the seam in my waistband. If you could create your own Warframe, what would it be called and what would it be? Oh, Raja Ghoul. All right, uh, let me see. I, I would go with, I would want an arachnid Warframe. I want a Warframe with like arachnid legs. I know that we're getting like into to weird things, but like Oberon's got hooves. Give me a four-legged Warframe, a four-legged arachnid Warframe. And then I would have a reason to use Garuda's Deluxe Cyandana. I think, I think like an arachnid inspired Warframe would be so cool. Cause like when you're, when you're like wall hanging, you would have like, you know, you'd have two, they'd have two arms, two legs, but then like when you, when you're wall hanging, you would have like all four, at least, you know, you'd have two of one legs and then all of four of the other click, you know, hanging on. I think they'd be really cool. And then the exalted weapon could happen out of the second set of hands. Um, like your top set could do your primary and your secondary, and your exalted come out of your second set of hands. The abdomen cat. Look, I I think it would be it would it would be great. You could cast a web. It would be like for like slowdowns. I I know that we have gloom. Everybody loves gloom, but you're putting gloom on everything. So we need something similar but different. Um, I think an arachnid frame. I, I've been trying to toss that off on the, to some people. Passive to never drop a wall grip. I can see where that would have to have a duration on it. You'd have to mod that duration for your wall grip. Only because there are certain ribbons where like they made it so you can't wall grip forever because of certain ribbons and all that. So I, I do believe if you had a passive that was a wall gripping, you would have to then mod it almost like with um like okay so example for mesa's regulators you need to mod them to be able to uh no i i i like that's a fantastic question and that's exactly where my mind thing went I, I don't know if it's the halloween in me but i like the joke <laughs> passive uh not sure if they'd still do it because they already have Korra, but yeah, that, well, so it wouldn't be like a dome web. It would be like a web pit, like slow down type of web. Like you got stuck in the web, not you're being pulled to the web. Cause that's a strangle dome. That's a, that's, Korra's got the strangle dome. So I'm, I'm thinking like almost, uh, more like if you were to drop down Oberon's garden, if you dropped down a web netting on the floor only or you know if you could cast it on walls and things like that to stick enemies to that were crossing over it almost like an insect into a uh, yeah well see
see, so like an augment. So you'd have to, you'd have to mod. I, I'm loving the idea for like an infinite or a even more in-depth wall grip. But again, because of some of the ribbons, we'd have to mod that so that you could literally stay wall gripped for, you know, like a minute and a half, five minutes or something like that. Traverse the map on the walls or ceiling. Could you imagine? So like one of your, instead of razor wing, where you, you go into art, you're, you go into like, okay, oh, oh, get me. Okay, come into my brain here for a second. So you know how uh, spiders have, you know, the different types of vision. What if you went, you know how um, with, um, shoot. With, uh, who is, who is the one? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know, with Limbo, how he casts the bubbles and all that, and everybody goes into, like, a different, like, realm? What if, like, her exalted or their... I am, I don't know. I just imagine to be a lady. Um, <laughs> just, uh, I want to cosplay it, so I'm imagining the Rackman is a lady, all right? Um, imagine, like, their number four or something would give them that traversing the map in a different way. And so, like, your vision then would be almost, like, a little wonky. That would be so cool. You could, like, see things happening like oh that would now we're now we're cooking multi-vision yes something something of that nature where it was different um i i, I think would be a, a really my spider senses are tingling <laughs> all right all right let's go to the stream raiders i'm just i'm enjoying this conversation way too much and this People ask me why I enjoy Warframe so much. It's because I can nerd out with the Warframe community and you guys will just, like, you, you, we get it. We're all there. We all want. <laughs> I just think it would be great. I need to find a new, uh, another cosplay. I need to, I need a cosplay for TennoCon 2022. An Arachnid would be dope. Make her also get small like to Oh! Oh, and it's a little spider crawling around the map. Oh! And then you can crawl up your enemies and bite them. Oh! Oh! Yes! And then the poison is what takes them home. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yes! 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 Oh yes, Thomas! She gets tiny! Oh! And then she traverses around the map, tiny form and tiny, crawling all over the walls and all over the. Oh, <laughs> so cool! <laughs> Sugoi. All right, what are we, what what the f are we doing? Oh, we're playing we're playing stream raiders. That's what we're doing. Upside down and reverse the challenge aim. I think all of this is great, especially if you can like shoot webs. Ah! <laughs> De, hear us, please. And if not, I'm going to copy this conversation. Hold on, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stream mark this, and we are going to I'm gonna send this conversation. Um, to my Twitter and then tag a bunch of DE people in it. That way, you know, I don't know. Somebody hears it. Somebody, a Tenogen. Do we have any Tenogen in chat right now? Just steal this idea. And, uh, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Uh, my creative Tenogen, I don't know. I don't know when you make the arachnid, if you give it like a, a dimple chin. I'm just, just saying, just, just saying, you know, we came up with some ideas here. Just throwing it out there, you know, creative, just give it a dimple chin. It'll be fine. <laughs> lay eggs and they hatch kind of like uh it would be like the razor wings or like the uh um uh, what are they called the maggots for nidus huh. <laughs> we're doing we got this de make it happen make it happen captain <sighs> this is this is fantastic okay so this is our boss fight uh -huh, uh -huh. a boss fight you say there's some 20s there some fives. I got so excited that I have to pee again. <laughs> I am a child that gets worked up and just can't control their bladder. So I'm trying to find out where our heavier hitters are, and it looks like they're up in that corner. And I'm gonna just drop a curse on them all. This is a fantastic conversation, and we're starting this battle. New frame for Halloween 2022. Arachnopia. Name drop. Arachnopia. Oh, oh. Then we could just call her Pia for short, because she's so cute. Oh, I just got me and my Pia are just crawling around the map. Hmm. 
major app no vibes to it. And like, if they could, oh, they could get wicked with it. They could give us like a nice clean arachnid and then like a deluxe skin would be like a tarantula version of her. <gasps> oh man. Then she could have like a, a cute, like, you know how, you know how the frames have a, a more flashy skin, kind of a, a robust looking, would be like the tarantula and then like a, a more sleek, uh, skin could be like a uh, a black widow, you know. She she could lay her eggs in an enemy, and then they explode little bomb spiders, right? Right? Or you'd have to insert your eggs, like you'd have to cast your your egg spells at a target to act as a host for your eggs. Oh yeah, yeah. It would almost pull like kind of a Titania Lantern effect. Um. Oh, this is such a good one. Not this chest, but like what we're talking about right now. Oh, all right. Hot Lentija. 13 kills. Ah, flying rogue scroll. They are the best. Resourceful, if you will. And then we'll randomly grant Fudge and Ja the remaining scrolls. We did defeat a boss. Um, oh, I can collect. It's like, I don't know if I have anything need to collect. The vampire skin. So I am going to go to skins and I'm going to go to equip. And the vampire here. Let's put it in that fun one. Army. No. Store. No. Quests. No. Oh, hold on. Quests. What did I not do? Place a healer. Didn't do that yet. All right. So we started a new, a new field. I am going to do what it wants me. I'm going to place a healer at the beginning. right in the center to try to heal everybody. All right, Raiders, let's uh, drop those units like it's going out of style. I need to pick this up. What is the next one? Get seven kills. An anniversary celebration. Okay, whatever that means. Kill three melee. Oh, we're working on it. All right, Raiders, if you do need to link to our stream Raiders, exclamation point battle and or SR, we'll uh, do that. I go to sleep. Good rest and stream. All right, Tiki Kai, thank you. Or T Gaika, Tigaika, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful slumber. Sweet dreams. Just make a huge spider cut off your brain. Put it in the spider. All right, so we're going to scratch everything tomorrow stream. I'm going to do an arachnid on my face, and we're just going to talk about all... Of no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ability three, hatchery egg. Uh, hatchery shoots eggs into enemies that makes them explode. Right, and if she could have one that, like... Okay, so I... This is what I'm thinking. What if the webbing came out of her mouth? Let's just get really grotesque and horrific with this. Out of the mouth, spider webs. She could be puking like green or white, depending on how you like do the energy. I think, I think that would be cool. Chroma does the roar, and the reason that I liked roar so much is because like when you put roar into Tanya, she roars in a pixie form. Uh, it's great and all, but uh, yeah, venom from the mouth, kind of like Chroma. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, uh. what was I doing? We were gonna do something. Wanna... Oh, I need to use the, the restroom quickly, but I'm having too much fun with our conversation that I don't want to leave. Here is the center. I found the center. I am going to, I, I do need to, I'm going to, I need to use the ladies room. So pardon me, I'm going to quickly just take a, uh, a quick, well, we took a quick break last time. So I am due for a, like a three, five minute break. I am going to politely, I don't, <sighs> like eight eyes on the frame too much. Well then, no, 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 no. Eight eyes on a frame, not too much, especially when uh, they could just be close together. Trapdoor spiders and jump spiders. See, now Sinemius is like, okay, okay, go be, you'll feel be, I know, I'm sitting here doing a leg shake. I just don't want to end, I just don't want to stop our conversation. We're having so much fun. <laughs> you do what you need to do. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Uh, so 
such a great conversation. I love it.
Alright, so I just walked around and then found myself like, oh, okay, I don't know how long we've been, but break can be over. Let's go upstairs and play with some, some fabric. I thought she'd never leave. Stop! <laughs> Arthur! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so what would you, the audience, love to see as a Warframe? Uh -huh. Picking up the minds of other oh, Tenno. Do it, do it. What? Oh, I have this out here because I was using my fray check. Not that I needed player cutters for my fray check bottle, but I needed player cutters for my fray check bottle. <laughs> Makes sense for everybody but the fray check bottle, let me tell you. Um, this is a <laughs> pot and piece I need to keep. We'll just put that up here with this. Um, this can get thrown away or as act as like a vessel in which to put things to get thrown away. So I'm just trying to, as we're coming to an end with this section, um, I've got, don't worry, I still have to do some printmaking today. I'm just trying to clean up a little bit. You know, do that thing where you can find your supplies after. We've got the right foot, so I can put the presser foot away. And then this book. Um, I just, I don't want to put you anywhere that I'm going to regret books. Let's just put you up here safely. You do your book thing up there. Scissors. Tiny scissors are the ones that I want. These ones, I've been using some pins, so let's keep those out. This is what goes underneath there. Okay. I've restituated myself. I'm gonna guess that this fell from somewhere and just shove it in there. Organization, finding your supplies. Let, <laughs> not getting up. I just, I needed some elbow room. Sometimes, <coughs> I was such a messy artist in college if you went into my my studio uh so for the college i went to you we each got like an artist little like studio in which to work after hours uh kind of inspirationally make a mess or make our own so that we could create better <coughs> well i welded um like i got my art degree in concentrational studies so i got i have an art and design bachelor's degree with LQ K-12 teaching certifications, credentials, and concentrational studies in oil painting and abstract realism welding. So when I was doing my senior studies, one of them was large ass oil paintings. <laughs> and then I needed a place for them to, Dis, can you go store part of your welded sculpture? We've got class today. Where am I gonna put it, guys? Uh, <clears throat> so I managed to swindle one of the two largest student studios, um, the other one they used for storage. But I remember it was just so messy, such a messy place. <clears throat> you got the right foot, but be careful, the left foot. <laughs> I got the right foot on. <clears throat> All right, where is, there's my center. So I put two, <clears throat> let's do this. My center is this pin here. Actually, it's just like off to the side of it. This is the top. I am going to sandwich this all the way down. Actually, I'm not gonna sandwich it all the way down. I found out just now through doing those fit tests that I needed to hang a little bit. Oh, this is perfect. Oh my goodness. I could have not have asked for a better, a better situation. How fantastic. You know, when things don't happen exactly how you want, they happen better. That's what I'm dealing with right now. 
I'm dealing with the better. So I'm gonna make sure that the, when we wrapped our twill tape, I wanna make sure that the side that has the twill tape on is the on top side. If you weld that, it will be on fire. That is true, that is true. <clears throat> but sticking with the abstract realism, this is a butt. Doesn't look like it, but abstract realism tells me it is. <laughs> the biggest butt I've ever seen. Just kidding. Finding Nemo. Okay. And uh, let's just carefully. Oh, no. That's what I'm going to do. How do you make sure something gets perfect? You sew it on one side first, and then I will. We already know that I have problems. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclip this one side, hold it over onto the other, and then I'm going to sew the one ply down, and then I will turn it, and then we will... So the inside will have two stitch marks on it, but the outside will only have one stitch mark on it, because that's how it's going to, to be. That's how it's going to be. Keep trying to make sure that I get the center, the centermost center. <clears throat> oh, I guess I would be sewing it down this way, wouldn't I? I would. Well, that's even weirder, but okay, let's just do this. Okay. So I am going to sew down this onto one side, and then I'm going to flip it, and then stitch it all the way around. Just trying to figure out how is the best way to apply this with the least amount of, pardon my language, fuckery. <laughs> I just, not at the point to mess up, alright? We don't want that. I left for a little bit, sorry. But I kept the stream on, because I know my way around Twitch. Uh-huh, diggity damn. Were you getting your drops? You were. <laughs> the only thing is, this is on a curve, and this is a straight line. Which is one of the reasons, also, too, I wanted to pin her down separately, but I need you to hang off the table so there's a little bit of counter. And then we're gonna just pin it. <clears throat> okay. So I'm literally just working off a of feel right now, trying to see if it feels like I have the same amount overhanging. <clears throat> Something just went boop boop in my ear. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'd have to have been paying attention to know what that sound was. Gotta do this. Bye, everyone. See you next time. See you slick. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. It was a pleasure chatting. Very much so. And we're still still doing pretty good. Hey, hey, hey. look at me now, Mom. <clears throat> slick. Slock show. Slick show. <laughs> you said slock show. Ha ha. 
you mean a massa I'm just kidding no one cares <clears throat> okay so now I'm gonna throw I mean I'm not gonna throw anything per se but what is going on here what is what's this headset's just making sounds I don't know what it's doing but it's doing something I just keep looking up and it says that it's still collecting my vocals. Thanks. <clears throat> we are adding the waistline now to Mad Moxie's ass. You don't have to be sorry about that. I found it funny. I'm pretty chill and laid back. I, uh... We... I've been very fortunate with the community that we've been building here on uh, Twitch that's just as chill and laid back and uh, trolly. In the good... A, tr a good troll. Like a good... A good troll. What the F is going on with this head? It's fine. <clears throat> With the first drop was a Warframe slot and I didn't need it, but nice to have. Hey, that's a treat, not a trick. Take it, take it or leave it. Speaking of drops, I am going to notice that I still am not done with my drop. Oh, Toxic Toe, you're kidding me. Participating channels. <clears throat> Who's participating in drops right now? Ooh, there's a lot of people doing drops right now. When I say a lot of people, there's two. <coughs> oh, she didn't put it as a neck tat. Oh, you're lucky, Clover. We'll, we'll chill in your stream to collect those watch drops. Oh, and these are all the anime. Yeah, Altair, Altair, Tear, Altair. In her military uniform. Do you guys hear the beeping that's going on in my headset, or is it just me? Oh my goddess is some, one of the ones that I'll have to add to the list, then, if you guys recommend it. Thanks so much for those follows coming in. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. We got eight minutes left on our Stream Raiders battle. If anybody has any new units that they would like to drop in. Just you? Okay, as long as I'm the only one that's hearing the boop boop every once in a while, that's works. That's fine. Um, yeah, okay. Trying to stuff a pillow through a sewing machine. I put a link to the uh, my oh wonderful. There's only f oh oh ho nice. Only five episodes. Okay. I need oh.
jump it in there. You want to do sewing machine? I know you do. <gasps> I push the automated button and it just started going. machine just keep going. Oops. Which Ed is sewing combo? Ed. You'll have to forgive me for, uh. I'm watching an old show. Ed and Nettie! Oh, I missed that one! Plank. 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 Team Plank. Not that anybody will see this, but I will. I'll know it's there. Panic! At the disco. I'm gonna take all these pins out now that we've got it attached to the waistline. Now I'm going to fold this over and stitch it down all the way over. What's your favorite episode? Honestly, I don't remember them all. I just remember that Ed was a dick. <laughs> just remember. I just remember Ed was a dick. Ow, that was my finger tried to monster clip it. That one kind of hurts. That's like a like a harsh pinch. <laughs> Good on this one. I'm going to clamp down as much of the top as possible. And because it is... Eddie was the dick? Whoever wore like the red or orange shirt. No, no, I think the red shirt guy what had a red, a beanie. Ed was, I liked, I liked the one that walked around with Plank. He had the inanimate object as a, as a best friend. So now I'm going to take a progress photo. I'm going to have to start from here and then thread this one through because we're going to make it one continuous line. So I'm going to start 
and stitch. That's what we'll do. Taking progress photos for the competition on Saturday. Of my butt pad. Episode 1 was Farscape. That was Johnny. Thoughts on naming for a spider frame? I was thinking names akin to the three faints are more... Uh, or arachnid based names would work. I was good. I think hmm You'd have to give me you'd have to give me a second to think about that one I want this to be on this side this time around So this would be the way that we do it then We need spider Medusa Warframes. Oh my god, I wasn't thinking like a Medusa. I was thinking more or less like a full body arachnid. <laughs> okay, so it needs to go through this way. Okay. Oh, I don't do this side often. Eh, no, I don't do this side often at all. We should then find a different foot. So I guess I didn't have the right foot on. Gadzooks. Do I have... I don't think I have one that goes on the other side, but if I did, that would be great. I could just use the see-through foot, and then I'd be able to see on both sides. I like that idea. I think I marked it on both sides, too. Oh, I did. Wunderbar. It is time. Time for some stream raiders. Oh. Sorry, I just had to swallow all that Red Bull first. Mm. 39 allies. We should be able to make everybody really fast for this and dart off in the battle. All crazed. See, victory was ours. I knew it wasn't gonna be a problem. 10 gold going to widescreen job though. Nice, and then we'll grant Jeff will try three tank and cookies and sound three warriors. We'll head to the yellow task here. The yellow chest is what we're looking for. And if I click on all, I'm gonna lay down a busta. Where's he gonna walk to and blow up? Go this way, little buddy. <laughs> all right, raiders, place those units down. Exclamation point SR at any time if you need the link to our battlefield. Ooh, I claimed a drop. Yes, small things, small things. Does it automatically start again? No. Yes. I've got to refresh. Ah. I feel like every single time is a little different with how this uh, works. How's the drop going to work today? Jeff will try. Killed them in GOW2. Music and it was all... <laughs> all mic'd. Yellow mics. It was all better TV emojis. 
I cook myself since my town doesn't have Chinese or Indian. I cook all myself, including pizza. Ooh, have a nice day. DoorDash, kiss my ass. Oh man. I I want to learn how to make a cauliflower pizza. I do. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get new bobbin thread halfway through this, but you know what? Let's just give it a shot knowing that. Drop the needle down. Oh, nope, too far down. Just kidding, I don't want to drop it down there. Just... <laughs> no. Oh man, why are you doing that? What'd you do back there? Why'd you do that? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, 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 no. That's not how we do that here. Bad sewing machine. You will go through all this fabric and you will like it. So I am going to put a new needle on because I believe that that is what is giving me the issues right now. So that's an easy, simple fix. We'll just take this guy out. I have a trash one that I stick them all in. And then we'll grab a nice, clean... What are we doing here? probably do them, but we'll go with these guys here. Nice, sharp, universal. I don't remember the last time I bought needles, and it's starting to show as my supply is it's getting smaller. Ooh, I just dropped you. Come back. Gotta go, Dis. I need to eat. All right. Enjoy your food. Hopefully it is yummy. And I will talk to you later, Arthur. Have a wonderful day. As soon as I get done with my bum pad, uh, I've got a little bit more to do, and then I am going to be taking a break as well. <laughs> Making sure again that we're going to be sewing this the correct direction. I don't want you guys to pop out while we're figuring all of this out. So where is our... We're going to just tuck that right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That was it. We just needed a new needle. That was, that was the issues that we were having. I just backpedaled over that corner because I really want it to tuck down and hold uh, the little little nubbins that I smelled over. Sorry for my... Uh, oh, you are fine. I am horrible at uh, English. <laughs> and that's my first language. Only language. Nice. Now we... Uh, literally are cooking. And 
so I don't have to come back to these guys when we're at the opposite end. I'm gonna snip them now. There's a couple of them back there. Alright, I'm gonna say sorry ahead of time as I'm gonna kinda zone out here for a second as I work to uh, freehand this, this line. She's looking real nice, especially with the twill on top. It's giving like a nice rounded bump. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jeff, for tossing all those links in the chat. This is your first time stopping by the channel. I do want to say welcome. I am Disfusional. My friends call me Dis. Feel free to do so as well. I'm an ultra widescreen gamer and Warframe content creator, but I'm also an artist and a cosplayer. Today I am working on Mad Moxie's ass. There is no nice way to put it. Um, we are doing some hip and bum pads for her. Just making sure we get a nice, crisp, clean, straight line out the other side with our stitches. If you want to see what I do outside of streaming, feel free to click on my Linktree link. You can also find uh, some information in my channel panels if you want to see what sewing machines or tech that we use during stream. It's all there. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. All month long, we've teamed up with Warframe and Digital Extremes in the quest to conquer cancer. If you have it in your means to donate to the Princess Marguerite Cancer Foundation, you can find our fundraising link inside my link tree as well as in the first channel panel down below. We are at $1,069 raised so far. Thursday will be our last stream for the month, which also means that it's going to be our last day of the month to, to fundraise. At the end of stream, I will be... Oh, Tillo is dropping the socials in there. Tillo, hello, hello. I lost you between some stream elements commands. Thank you so much. Yeah, it is. Damn. You guys are on it. Let me just use my pillow here to soften my, uh, my embarrassment. Gotta be getting close to the butt, right? One would think. This is very weird. This is very, this is just a very weird thing. Hey, Dis, uh, still able to run Warframe drops after the quest? Nope, nope. So it only is for the quest to conquer cancer, peeps. Yeah, it's, it's a way to kind of spread the, spread the cheer share uh, in other Warframe content creators. I wish. Get the butt ready to go through the machine. This won't be challenging at all. What, what could be difficult about this, right? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just sew the butt pad into this belt. You're good. <sighs> Here we go.
So what I did was I uh, backstitched, I went forward a little bit and then backstitched over where my pillow is going to connect just to make sure that we've got a little bit extra security. I know that I've already stitched down, it's very light, but like there's going to be so much costume on top of this that I would hate for, you know, if one of the stitches pops then we're good, we've got two extra, you know, rows in. My content is not where are you. Love watching you and the drops are a small bonus. Oh, Shadowfoe, thank you so much. I am I'm struggling with Moxie's butt. It just keeps slapping me in the face. Each each of her her three cheeks. Yeah, I didn't know that one, did you? Moxie's got three butt cheeks here. Jeff, I was saying the worst thing about sewing. Can't rock my Crocs when I'm uh, hitting the pedal down here because I can't feel it. like losing it down there come back to me butt slaps in the face moxie butt slaps and you're like okay i mean kind of insulting but it could be worse <laughs> just like the other side i'm gonna go back over that connection point just to be safe then sorry Pick up my presser foot, straighten things out, and then I'll finish this up. After all of that, straight line sewing seems like it's a breeze. one I just can't wear the other one that is true wearing crocs did did improve our mr30 test true story true story one of the best ways to help this get closer to uh, having a DE before her name hit Twitch partner and <laughs> keep cut. Oh, you're too kind. We're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Uh, the next at, like goal that we want to actually strive for is uh, the Twitch partner. I feel like uh, working for an in-game glyph, uh, there's no, I've got no control over that. So for that to be like an actual goal, that would just be something rather exciting if it happened. But yeah, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing, having fun, hanging out with everyone. I appreciate all those follows. When we get to 5k, we will be doing a, uh, a cooking stream. I'm going to show you guys how to make gyoza. 
In the meantime, after stream today, whenever that's going to be, I uh, do plan on updating the Discord with polls regarding our 3 slash 4K. Oh, I finally ran out of bobbin. Bobon. Bobon. Finally ran out of bobbin. Hmm. All right. Well, we knew it was going to happen, right? I wonder how far we can go. Oh, there's still a lot in there. Let me keep going. We need to get John a hold of the Arca Plasma until he gets deed. <laughs> That's funny. That'd be funny. I would just show you guys how to make all the cops. All right, let's turn ourselves into to Equinox today. Being able to so makes you very talented. I appreciate that. My mom likes to think that it makes me closer to her. Mom, you didn't teach me how to sew. You just... Oh, oh I just... Okay, cool. I'm gonna take it. I'm trying to push... So there's a sensor for my bobbin that when it's running low, it'll toss a, a, like a, little, a little note out there to me. Letting me know that, hey, we're getting low. And I want to keep going. I just don't know how to take that sensor off, so it just keeps going and beeping at me, telling me, hey, you're running out of bobbin. I'm like, I know! And then we're gonna go this way. I'm determined to finish this little section here. Yeah, we're going backwards though. Don't worry about it. Just here. Do I need to hand crank it? We can go old school and hand crank it. I'm okay with that. And then I'm going to actually turn it this way. I did it. Now, look at, see, like, there's still a little bit left in there. I was able to take that bobbin. Haha. -ha. Moxie butt, come here. myself in the head with that. <laughs> look at how freaking clean that looks. Like, look at just how stinking clean that looks. Like, I am just, uh. You go, girl. Uh, my mom was one of the first women CPAs in the USA. That's cool. Now, I, uh, I've worked with, um, well, we'll just stop that sentence. Um, I have visited, no, okay, scratch that sentence, too. I've attended the sewing expos uh, that happen. 
like the original sewing expo? I'm sure then your mother has too. Uh, she went to Lewis University in Italy, uh, and the teachers there hadn't. Oh. Interesting. No, I do wish, I wish I knew now, you know, I don't think I would have gotten my, my bachelor's in art and design. I think I would have gone for fibers. So I guess it would have been an art and design, but not like a teaching certification, maybe a fine arts. Um, because, you know, Detroit budget cuts, there goes my program. So like, what am I doing now? But uh, just to kind of taught a female student, ask her, how do I teach you? And she said, teach me like your male students and became the highest grade in the class, right? Like why would you, that's, that's amazing. Raja Ghoul, that is so cool. That is so cool. Oh, you've got a really cool mom. I mean, I've got a really cool mom too. Like, Deb, I love you. But, uh, ah, yeah, that is so cool. That is so cool. Ah, the people you know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm a cool mom. I'm not just, just a, I'm a cool mom. So here is our uh, butt skirt. And I can actually drop this down. Oop, I can actually roll this over. <laughs> so I had made a comment about thinking that maybe it should be lower. Well, with this setup, I can make it lower. <clears throat> and then I can place this over top. I just had to make sure. I was like, is this the right side? No, it's not. Inside out. <laughs> Don't be weird, Sid. Just get dressed. <laughs> yeah! Because then this will cut in right above that. And again, I'm so lazy. I don't want to do the buttons on this. It's got two buttons. And like, it's easy to do the buttons when it's on your own squishy skin. But like, when you're trying to button up a mannequin, it's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> so, just going to, and that works for me. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what she needed. Oh, this is going to be so much nicer to wear. Right? Because, yep, it drapes down then in the back. I actually think it drapes down on this side, so I do need to uh, rotate her around just a bit. Right, 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 right. And again, maybe not. There, I think that's the way it should go. A little bit more on the side. <laughs> no, see, I do think that this side comes down toward the thigh. Okay, what do I know? We've already seen it's definitely been a long time since I've worn her <laughs> appropriately. Because this is supposed to go high over one thigh. And I think that is my... Yep. So this then drop. Oh, and then it does come together a little bit better here in the back. There. Yep. Let's move these shoes off here. That's driving me crazy now. So yeah, that looks real nice. Almost too nice. Yeah, and then with all those weights, you guys saw it, 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 they literally sit. And it's cool, too, that there is this, uh, this scallop, if you will, because where those pleats are for the back... Like, I won't have to worry about extra bunching through, so here is... Nice. Nice. 
She ran a CPA firm for over 50 years and had clients who were worth billions of dollars in New York. That's, that's really cool. the armpits or the armpits are hard wearing her um, I need to cap those I can do that on my own accord I really get nervous about you not being up uh, so we are gonna throw you up there leave those down leave those down okay so next order of business is going to be printing the fabric that we need to for the mask. Okay. We'll just uh, push you off to the side, my dear. Um, here's the mask fabric. I do still need to... Embroider the Borderlands logo. Another day. Another day. Those are those pins. We are gonna put you away. I shouldn't need no I can. It's like, where's the lid to this? Hello. I'll just flip it upside down. That works for now. Oh, um, maybe not. Sewing machine is off. Cool. Picking up scraps. So we did do uh, some design plans. Let me just push you in your bodacious body this way. The butt. <sighs> we are going to use the teal cord. I have this. I'm going to have to. How big are that's a bad judgment call. There are two there. Where's, where is a ruler? How wide are you? I asked. You are one and three quarters inch wide. Okay. Let's uh, draw this out then. Did I just, I did. So one and three quarters inch. Oh, full of That's, see, it... It's getting old just sucks. Getting old sucks. So I said it, we were gonna go an inch and three quarters, right? That works for me then. Can iron this. There's that. The yellow's all good to go. The inside and uh, those can get surged actually. All right, Stream Raiders, curse. Oh, we were having so much fun, you forgot about Stream Raiders. It happens. It happens. Alright, a two skull. Let's just make everybody again super fast. Slay all day. 34 allies on the field. Let's do this. Oop, oop, oop. Come on, Stream Raiders! 
Nice. a lot. Oh man. Oh man. Glad they're on our team. When you see the rogues just running, I'm like, oh man. Hope they're on our side. Speaking of rogues, Demar Valik, Demar Valik, three rogue girls enjoy. I saw them running, just sprinting. And then we're gonna random regret board and fudge the remaining items in my chest. Moving along to a two skull, two skull battle. I think I need to place another healer. To be completely honest, I did. I actually did. Who to thunk? Go team. And we'll set that up. I'm going to head back to my class and collect. Candy! I'm gonna head to my store again. Two hours still. Okay. Don't be hasty, Dis. Don't be hasty. Mmm. 30 candies, artillery scrolls. Dang. All right. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me this afternoon. Been working on Mad Moxie, and we got her uh, vivacious body off to the side. In the meantime, though, I need to print some fabric. And to be completely, I don't remember how I measured this all out. Um, what I do know, though, this fabric was so thin, I had to iron a backing to it. And I think I'm gonna have to do that again, so let me see if I can find my interfacing. Or at least the scraps of interfacing, because I really don't need a whole, the whole thing. That is Yuko Ichihara remnants. Oh, yeah, this looks like it'll do. Oh, I even have a... I'm smaller. From midweight to heavyweight fabrics. Nope. We got some lightweight fabrics on us. And I... Is this... Big enough? Small enough? I have the pattern for a women. Oh, that'll be perfect. Plenty of room. Awesome. I don't have to cut open or waste more than we need. Hello, Tenno, less than three. Hello, Tenno. Hello, Zero. Hello, hello. We are uh, just pondering life. Just pondering life. So I can't even do this sideways. <laughs> yep. Let's do that then. Okay. Those are 
too small for anything, so we will throw them away instead of trying to keep random things, thinking that they're gonna have, like, some use later on down the line. I am going to iron this down before I stamp on it. Um, if I don't, what will happen is uh, it'll, one, bleed through real quick. I saw a video today saying DE may unvault all workers. Yeah, that's, that's wild. I doubt it. That would be wild. See it to believe it. See it to believe it with that one. So now we are ironing again. Yay! I've got this block already good to go, and I'm gonna draw on this one. trying to make it so I know where to uh, fold my line into. And here we have four. If I do that again, it's gonna go one, two, right? Yeah, we did two. Sorry, I'm just um, doing some measuring over on this end. All right. So now I know where on this I'm going to be folding things over to. I'm just going to lightly pin it in place. I actually drew a line. So this will mimic the same... the same uh, stripes on my dress. This is more of the fabric that I dyed, that red fabric. I used uh, I dye poly on it just to be safe, even though I knew it was 100% cotton. That's one of the hardest things. What's one of the hardest things? Oh, yeah. In a dev stream a few weeks ago, Red briefly mentioned unvaulting all the frames for some, like, a short period of time. Oh, -ho. I wonder what, what we Tenno would have to do to deserve something so nice like that. What would we owe such a favor? Such a delicacy, if you will. Everybody's helmet is gonna get full. just trying to carefully pin this on a tiny little line I drew. Because I figured while I iron one thing, I might as well iron them both. This is just so... Uh, need more. Baka. Okay. That's good to go. This I need to... Oh, I need to put a backing on this too. Section again. Let me see. Put 
then again, there might not be. We might, uh, oh, here's some. What's stuck on this? These look like they are chunks of Mad Moxie. Let's just use it then. Yeah, this looks like it's just, uh, angry Mad Moxie. So we're just going to throw this down upon it. We'll iron it down. In a bit. First, we will start with these guys here. I know I threw uh, my fabric scraps haphazardly down here. Mm -hmm. There they are. I just want to not iron directly on this to burn it or stick it awkwardly to my iron. So we're going to just lay some fabric down to protect the project that I'm working on. And I can crank this up a bit. are we doing? I am... I've had it with you, Iron. I don't get it. I don't get why you've got to be such a problem. Finally, I can see you normally. Yeah, so this is what, uh, this is what I actually look like. I'm not purple. I'm gonna flip her over and iron up this side. I think this is gonna be it. Though tomorrow we are doing another transformation before we dive into Warframe. A little Pennywise It inspo. I'm just gonna leave that right on there. And if you have not heard, all month long we've teamed up with Digital Extremes and Warframe in the quest to conquer cancer. If you have it in your means to donate, you'll find our donation link in our channel panels below. And uh, maybe as a... Well, maybe. Maybe. Maybe for a quest to conquer cancer. I could see, like, alright, for this weekend only. Everybody just mad dash. So I'm trying to iron some interfacing. Just making sure that we got it down as smooth as possible. I did line with interfacing every single piece of uh, moxie behind you. Behind me, I guess. So it makes sense that I'd have to line her mask, too. Just another layer in which to try to breathe out of. I'm for it, as long as she looks real nice and crisp. So here is the other fabric. Now this I'm just going to iron down. Nothing special. This is going to be one of the stripes that's on the mask. Sorry, my ironing board was really hot there. Hot ironing board. Makes complete sense, right? And I won't need all of this, but... Might as well just iron it all, right? That's what I'm doing. I think I've done about five hours of sanctuary and still not a core. Oh man. That's crappy. I'll end up getting mastery in all weapons before I get Korra. Womp womp. Even the bow prime. I've been hunting for uh, bow prime pieces. Well, I guess not hunting, because I could just buy them with plat. But I've been on those relics. Now, if they wanted to unvault all prime relics for a weekend, that would be dope. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I guess that's what I'm vaulting. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, buying them all. Can you just sit and buy them all? With money? Alright. Good on our strife. Since I have this out, oh, let's just drop that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to iron back. Just because it's been crinkled. And I am going to have to sew this down. So might as well iron it now so I don't have to later. Oh! Might have to if I iron like that, though. Ooh. Red lenty, a new pasta. Mmm. Cut this in half already so that I can make sure that I've got the pieces I need to. Red mask, those two. Okay, so now it's going to come down to our brown fabric scrap here. I'm going to iron this out for a mask side. I have to. Uh, embroider this so oh it's in the food discord yum oh, let's see if we can use the section of this without cutting as much off right put it above the salvage marks should be good at that point This will be fine. <laughs> Just throw the art. This will be fine. All right. This is not fine. Why are you so curly? I don't like it. Flip her over. Yeah, I thought there was going to be a bubble. So we're doing this as a... Uh, one, it's very thin fabric. Um, two, I need to paint and embroider this. So let's tack them down. So I'm just trying to make sure that I am ironing this on as smooth as possible. Nice, that's looking good. One last flip to make sure she's good on this side. Nice. 
Nailed it. Been doing a lot of SO and ESO lately. I have a full set of core parts for feeding my health. Oh, somebody's bragging. <laughs> Attract people. I could, I could see that. For a limited time, you can, you know, play any prime frame that you want. Granted, you'd have to farm it out and or buy it, but... I wonder how many people would be scoping out and grabbing mag prime. I mean, I would farm up the crap out of that weekend just to make sure that I can get more things to do giveaways with, for sure. So I am going to clip the remainder of this off. Um. Now with it uh, good all the way to the edges, I can come through and just kind of hit, just to make sure. Not that it's, you know, a big issue, but by sealing it off, I'll assist with, you know, any potential fraying of the fabric that might happen. But I did do it all the way to the salvage line on the other side. So, good. This is what I uh, will be putting the logo on, embroidering the logo onto that side of the fabric. Let's. on the floor so I don't burn myself. We should be good with the iron for today. For today. Last but not least, I need to stamp. So we are going to do the last little bits of stamping. I need to draw out the lines and stamp down the couple of pattern pieces. And let me just, nope, let me get out my ink and then I need a palette knife for this. Where do I put my palette knife? Oh, there's, oh, I don't need that one. I need like a dirty one. Where's the dirty palette knife? Where's the used palette knife? Palette knife, wo bist du? I don't want to use one of those palette knives. Those ones are really cool. There you are. I was like, where's my Liquitex palette knife? I am going to remove everything that I do not want to put ink upon. So it's going to be this piece and these guys there. And these pieces here. Hello, Shadow. Hi, hi. Mag Prime is currently vaulted. She is. But if they did like an everything all at once, I have a feeling some people would be going for Mag. What happened to Mag Prime? Oh, she got vaulted. Yeah, she's just she's just put away for a rainy day. Uh, she is having right now what happened to Loki. Or, and everybody wanted the uh, Loki Prime. And they dropped it for... Uh, for Tenocon. Sorry, I had a, so much interface just poking out at me down here. I was like, get back! Get back, I say! Um, let's, let's measure a pattern. I bought her when I first was playing since she was going into the vault. It was three plus years back. 
I kind of don't remember how to pattern this out. <laughs> so here is her stamp. <gasps> Bless your soul, Dish. You put lines on the back side of this. So we are three by three exactly. Oh, bless your soul. So I'm gonna mark off on here. When you do something, realized yesterday that I don't have regular Trinity. Well, that's a that's a conundrum. I'm gonna drop it on the back side of the ruler. Farm up that Trinity then. So I've safely lined this up with the lines on my desk. And I am lightly drawing in lines that I will then Do we center it? One, two, three goes smack dab in the center would be the best. So if we did two and a half and then two and a half on either of the sides, that would be even better too, wouldn't it? It would. That's the way we're doing it then. We're going to go a nine and a twelve. And a twelve and a nine. If we did this. Something like that. It'd be two, it'd be one. Just doing some measuring. Draw the line there. I'm gonna come up here, and I believe if I do the same thing. Oh! I just moved everything. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. If you move it up and then connect those lines together there, then bring it up to three. That worked out better than I could have planned. So now that I've got my grid of three by three, by the looks of it, we just make sure we've got three going all the way, uh, kind of half a little bit off there. All right, just, just. Now I'm going to take it, so this is on a diagonal. Um, yeah, I put them here. As well as here, right? We go on and off. Yes. Okay. I think we're good to go. Let's just let's just do this. Let's just do this. So here is my stamp. I've already made it a while ago when we were doing the original dress. It is a three inch by three inch. I am going to use uh, my Speedball screen printing ink to ink this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 times possibly? 21 times possibly tonight? Let's see. Let's see uh, how this goes. So I'm going to put down fabric on the top and bottom below it just because we are going to have some overhang. I just don't feel like wanting to clean uh, paint off my desk. She should still be pretty tacky. Yeah. So this is a relatively new 
container. Yeah, you were waiting for me. You wanted to play, didn't you, Paint? Let's do this. So I'm going to uh, slap some black onto there. And then I'm going to use this paper towel to hold my palette knife. And because I'm a messy gal, I'm going to put a, put a lid on this. Spread this out a bit. Ooh, looks like there might be some boogers on here. No. Ooh, another drop to claim. Doing it. Just holding my my painter. so nice to screen print with. Let's uh, do the Stream Raiders thing quickly. I've got ink on the table. We'll make everybody really fast and dive into this. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna, I gotta work in a timely manner since I've got all this ink on my tray. We're just going to, uh, and I'm inking between every single print. We're gonna take this first one, and because uh, we're just getting the hang of it, I'm not gonna do the smack dab in the center. We're gonna do this off to the side here. I'm gonna give it a light push down, making sure that I I know that it's all in the center here. And then I'm gonna pull up. Ooh, she's so nice. don't have a brayer. Oh, <gasps> we lost! Alright, we're gonna start a new map, and unfortunately, I'm going to call this for Stream Raiders because I am in the printing section of this, and I don't want... This is where I would make a mistake. So you're gonna have to... Pardon me, we're gonna stop Stream Raiders for the day. I'm going to just print on. And again, we're inking in between each one. I started with the top corner because you'll notice that uh, the first ones are a little weak, and then they just get nice and crisp afterward. Hello, Tenno. Unlike the other prints that are that I was doing, what, last Monday? You guys can see this one! So we're on to the second row, just making sure I've covered everything. I feel the need to stand up right now while I do this. Hola, dis. Hello, Metal Rica. There we go. We are doing some Mad Moxie printmaking right now. We did her butt. It's off to the side. Oh no, okay, so I did something wrong. My math was off. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, this is not good. Oh no! It 
looks like I had the same exact tissue here too. So what did I put these ones at then? Oh, three and a quarter to allow for a gap between everything. Oh. And these look like they were at need to be careful. We don't have that much fabric left, but this is plenty and okay. So let's figure this out then. Well, that's a uh, okay, so what we're going to end up doing right now then. Right? I was like, "Oh, we had it all." So I'm going to scrape off some of this paint and put it back in here cuz we're not going to be able to use it all. Um and I'd rather save as much as we can now. I will use some of this to figure out the math. I want to say, is it three and a half? Did we have it go three and I can't believe it. I didn't have this written down somewhere. I probably did, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I should have known when I laid that down that it wasn't going to lay there. It's, it's literally like a half inch off, yeah. Okay. Three and a half. Let's uh, set this off to the side. Not the end of the world. But let's just say we did a three and a half. So if we did from here, one, two, three and a half, one, two, three, one, two, three and a half. Not the end of the world, just going to set us back a little bit. Means I'm gonna have to bring up the iron and all that again. Oh, lo and behold. Gonna flip you upside down there for now. So if I did <laughs> well, I mean, hindsight, we probably should have done this first, but... 20 20. Let's just ink this haphazardly. Double you guys up. Alright, let's, uh, if I do one here... I do one here. No, still too far off, I do believe. Maybe not, though. Maybe not, though. Okay, and then if we stamp one up top, does it give us the same... Obviously, then I have to center these ones. Yes, yes, yes. It'll it'll take. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. It's three and a half, not three. So the stamp is three, giving me a quarter inch of a border all the way around. See, that's what we are looking for. Oh no! I put it in the ink. Not whatever this monstrosity that I stamped over here was. world. We do have another piece over here. Do have another piece. Do have another piece. And we will uh, cut the same amount. That we saw that we needed. Put 
for scissors. Sorry, a universal sign for scissors. I just thought they would jump into my hand. <laughs> oh, well, I told you it was a Monday. I told you it was a Monday. Epic fail. Yay. At the same time, like, I ruined the fabric that I've been using as my scraps just in haste. At this point, I'm going to need to clean all of this off, too, if it doesn't. If it... <sighs> Life. some more down here. Can this work for us? Does this do? This should do. This should do. Right? Right? Yes? Maybe so? Then again, maybe not? Yeah, but I can only cut it from one direction. That's the end of the world if that is the case. That'll be fine. I just, uh, I'm trying to reuse as much as we can without having to cut from like a new chunk. Oh, I'm breathing. It's just, you know, when you're trying to do things in a timely fashion and things just don't timely work out and you're like, well, damn, it's all that going differently. It's just kind of like how today's been going. Saw Monday going differently. Definitely using up some scrap fabric, though. On a bluff. On a pocket, and now I could use this silly iron again. It might even still be hot. Do we even have to wait? Kinda. Sorta. NW Country Girl, hello, hello to you. Just having some Monday uh, snafus, mayhem, if you will. Legit Monday mayhem. Oh, see, and it's, I gotta make sure then. Okay, it's still, it'll still fit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mad Moxie is giving me some issues today. It's not one thing, it's another. Girl, get yourself situated. It's just trying to heat back some interfacing down the back side of this. Then instead of three inches, we're gonna do a three and a half inch grid on here. And I need to be careful, and I put the have to put the pattern in the direction that I'm gonna cut this one. Not as obvious as the other one that was rectangle. Trying to build some motivation to get back to work on a project um, that the goal was to be done by Halloween. Uh, my my deadline for this is the 28th. When I looked down at the clock at the beginning of stream, I realized today was the 25th. <laughs> you got this. And the life threw me about three curveballs, right? I, that's, that's what I am dealing with. We've already done this stuff. Heating up the iron and putting the iron away. And, uh, now I've just put this in the ink. It's welcome to Monday. Throw the iron board off to the side. I didn't even have time to put it away. No. No ironing board. No. <sighs> so let's, for one, figure out the direction that is up for this. This 
could be up too. All right. Mm -hmm. This is the direction that I want to. Round two. Ding, ding, ding. And based off of that line, I am going to do the brass. Two, three, and a half. One, two, three. And then we will draw some nice wholesome lines. Based off of those, I am going to put three and a half in the other direction as well. That way I can print between, betwinst. Yeah, we are, we're crunching away right now. We will get this done in time. Not a laughing matter, Dis. I don't. I don't know why you think this is so funny. <laughs> Stop just laughing at my fault. Oh man. Let's do the damn thing. And I'm gonna use, oh, I said I was gonna use paper, but then when you can't find paper, hold on, let's just rip something out. I don't even know what these are. Numbers? Hmm. Who uses numbers these days? Don't throw it on the ground, put it away. I thought of just tossing it right here on the ground. It looked like it wanted to join its friend on the ground. Oh. Found a ruler and some shoes. Cool. This should work. Maybe. We're gonna start in the upper corner because I I got time for this. So starting with the printing of the page. Yes, we can get more ink. Let's do this. And we're back. Can't stop, won't stop. Rarely ever is a money if I right, I'm just a Ugh, come on. Monday, a necessary evil of the week. Take it slow. Don't rush anything. <laughs> the struggle is going to be ba uh, hitting back. It's oh. The gym. Oh, 
Oh, the gym. <laughs> I, uh, Chloe Ting in my living room and call that a workout. Call it a day. Hello, Smashins. May I recommend the perfect push up? That pretty neat. What? The perfect. Oh, oh, you mean that like push up bra? Sorry, I was. Yeah, go for it! <laughs> I for a second was like, how did you know? I was looking for something from Moxie that's a little bit more va va boom. I got you, I got you. Device for doing push-ups. Are you, I, I use the, like the bar and rope thing that you hang in your, um, your doorway. It's got like a little 